All right. <laughs> Rest in peace, game. Yeah, the game crashed. I I've never seen it crash before. I've never seen that happen. Oh yeah, I have to figure out what was my time in Rayman last time I was playing that. I don't remember. Alright, I'm going to change my layout. I'm just going to use black color. I don't have a uh, Rayman border. Let's see, what was last time I played Rayman? Rayman, Rayman, there it is. It was June thirteenth last time I played. Jeez. This apparently can't last. One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark steals the great protoon and defeats the two of the barrier she tries to protect. No, well, that doesn't look right. The electrons who used to gravitate around it lose their natural stability and scatter all. Oh, there we go. So I'm at, what, 16 hours? Troublesome, isn't it? And I'm tidy, too. Alright, 16 hours, and 5 minutes, and 19 seconds, and 64 milliseconds. There we go. I don't want to lose my progress, man. I've put some time into Ray, man. I will beat this game yet. Gosh darn it. Alright, Rayman to the rescue. Let's do it. We did I last play. Now we, we figured it out. It, it took me a second. Well, at least you're blaming Doomsday instead of the game. Yo, I gotta mix it up, man. It can't always be the same, you know? Gotta, gotta change it. Alright. 52% zero lives. That that looks like my save. Oh man. <laughs> we were having some tough times, dude. Having some tough times last time we were playing. Now I have no lives. But we beat the stupid Space Mama's Crater, so I just don't even care. Don't even care. Oh yeah, let me start my timer, man. See the I got pummeled by Space Mama and I just wanted to save? Yeah. She rips me a new one, man. I was so ready oh, I died. <laughs> I was so ready to give up all hope on life when we got to Space Mama. Be an us. It's all good, man. We're gonna learn these next few levels, and we're just gonna power through them, and then we're gonna beat the game. It's gonna be great. When I'm grabbing that, what's what's popping up? What's happening? What are we doing with our lives? What's down here? Rocks? A whole ruby platform thing going on. I want to hang out on that. It's kind of spiky though. What are we doing, guys? Giving Rayman HP? I like that. Good. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, mostly a good deal. What's over here? What are we doing? Could chill down here. I'm cool with it. Ah, question mark. Well, something popped up. Oh, hey, how how are you doing, guy? I want to not have a giant spike thing. Oh, but there's a cage. We get a cage for doing that. That's good. What if there was a Sonic Mega Man crossover game? Well, there was a comic, and that was pretty cool. I would definitely play it without a doubt. I don't know what that would play like though, because you know, like I mean, yeah, like the Mega Man X series is. It's mostly fast paced, but like there's there's a difference between Sonic Fast and Mega Man X Fast. It's uh, quite a bit different. Huh, how am I supposed to get over there? I don't see. First challenge already dead? Yep, good start. I got this. Don't you worry, Mr. Glacken. Oh, I'm 
alive. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, and I fell back down. Hmm, I mean, the checkpoint's right there, but I was expecting to get over there. What do you want from me? Clearly, I just need to jump up here, right? And then something pops up now? That's cool. I'll just, I'll just fall down from here. I'll just punch the thing. It's crazy. Oh, what was that? Oh, hey! There's a cage over there now. I'm scared of one day. Nope, still in there. Hanging in tight. Those are all spikes! And a miss. Crystal Palace is a huge speedrun killer? Yeah, I can. I think I can see why. I think I can see that. That doesn't sound too crazy to me. the best positioning in the world. Oh man, I just I just barely miss. And let's see, Glackham, I don't think it's uh, in the way you'd think. You power through this first screen with speed locking. Oh, do you? That sounds cool. Yeah, no, I... I definitely don't know. Like, I've seen you do some weird things, like, in these late sections. But again, you know, I'm not paying, like, super hyper attention. I just see you doing a bunch of platforming. Looks tough to me. Oh, maybe I should grab that checkpoint. What do you think? I mean, I have zero lives now, but... Oh, hey, and there's a cage over there now. That's cool. Oh, man, I'm so bad at this. Yo, Rayman's hard. Dude, could you imagine if Rayman had a hard mode? Oh, that'd be the worst. Hard mode Rayman. I would not want to play that. I don't think you could pay me to play hard mode, Rayman. It's already hard! Ugh. I'm just trying to imagine what hard mode Rayman would be like. I, I honestly have no idea. Oh, dead. Like, how would you make this game harder? Like, I mean... There's obviously, like, only so hard they could make a game and still be able to, like, you know, beat it themselves. But I guess maybe the developers... There's... I'm sure. I'm sure... Oh, hmm. I thought I could grab onto that. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't think the developers even beat this game on its difficulty it's on now. <laughs> I would be surprised if no one beat this game. Developers? No way. Playtesters? Probably not them either. Like, nah, this, this adds up. People like this game. <sighs> Gosh darn it. It's so hard. So, Vanks, try hard mode? There is no hard mode. That's the whole point I'm making. I'm trying to say the game's difficult. You get me? Am I... Was I being too subtle? I apologize. Alright, let's not die, Rayman. There's no need to do that. But why? Why put death right next to me? I don't have to do that. Ah, jeez. Oh, 
Oh, you, 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 you expect too much from me! This game was playtested historically one time? Oh, was it? That's interesting, I wonder how that played out. Oh, jeez. That was not the best jump. 7 out of 10. Not a good jump. Oh, jeez. I'll just die the same way twice real quick. Don't mind me. You know, I like to... You know, and, and mix it up there, too. Let's, let's just get a death where I just don't even do anything but just die. You know, gotta mix it up, man. Gotta mix it up. Keep it, keep it interesting, you know? I want y'all seeing me die in only the same way. Gotta... Gotta keep it fresh. Streams like a relationship, you know? Keep things interesting. Definitely didn't just die. That's crazy talk. Oh, jeez. Man, that's so easy. Why'd I die there? Ever. <laughs> oh, man. And you know, like I'm saying, this is what we do in speedrun in the beginning. That kills runs. All right, let's uh, let's see this. Now, what are we doing, guy? Oh, those are spikes. I didn't I didn't notice them. I'll be dead soon. Oh, jeez. Man, looking at this Jiffy Cat and platforming at the same time, maybe not the best idea. Uh, I didn't, I didn't even really get what the GIF was about either. It just looks like a bunch of hard platforming going at max speed. I'm sure there was something that was like extravagant. I mean, it just looks hard. Like, it does just look hard doing everything that fast. You do it a different way from a couple of the other runners. Fair enough, man. You gotta have your own route. You're not following in other people's shadows. Did you actually watch it at all? I I did. I don't I don't know what it was. I don't know what I was looking for. You look like you're just going really fast. Saw you get the cage, and I saw you get to the, uh, to these things. And you grabbed them, and you went pretty fast. Good job. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking for. But again, you know, I was also platforming at the same time, and I died. I landed on those spikes watching that Jiffy Cat. Thank you very much. And I did look at it, though. Had one eye on the Jiffy Cat, one eye on Rayman. We all saw how well that worked out for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I should be like grabbing the cages and stuff, right? I guess, technically. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get those other cages another time. Oh no, I didn't jump! I just let go! What? Why? I pushed the jump button. Was that not good enough for him? Apparently not. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab the checkpoint this time. It sounds like a good idea to me.
Ah, oh, jeez, no, 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 no! The cage is stupid. Well, I hit the cage, but, you know, hitting the cage and not dying, that's... Ooh, who knows how to do that? Doesn't seem that necessary. Oh yeah, how's the music of this game? Is this, like, way too quiet now? So I know that uh, Mega Man X was like really loud, so this might actually be really quiet now that I think about it. I'm gonna up it a bit to 14%? It might still be way too quiet. Let me know. How does the game sound? Can you hear it at all? <laughs> I didn't think about that till just now. Well, I got past that part. Why is Rayman so hard? Why couldn't it just be a super easy game? Oh, oops. <laughs> I was just experimenting. Didn't think I was gonna die. Oh, hmm. I see, I need to jump there. Oh, hmm, I can't. I can't just walk into that. I have to literally jump onto it or I die. That's good to know, man. Rayman! Such an easy game. So easy. This is a kid game for three year olds, man. I don't know why anyone above three would play this. I mean, I'm doing it, you know, for educational reasons. You know? It's like a like gaming historian kind of thing. Anybody else, like, game's so easy? Oh, why is there homing tracking needles? No! Why? No! Take it back! Oh, why is that a thing? And you know, Black says nobody's sticking around for Ramon if only the Europeans were awake. Yeah, it's all... Um, it's all good, man. Like, uh, not, not everybody's into the raid, man. It's perfectly understandable. Not everybody has played any of the raid, man, games. I mean, I was lucky, uh, lucky enough to come again, uh, to come into contact with Rayman back in 2012 and that was really just because I had a friend that was very very passionate about the game and so I tried it out I mean I liked the game I was just like yeah this, this game's it's too hard for me I can't I can't play this I made it to like Bandland and that was about it like I love the game's aesthetic I like the music like just uh a lot of the way the uh what is it, like the bosses are? I think they look very interesting. Well, the whole worlds look interesting, really, but still. What do I do here? Oh, can I, I just walk past them? That's it? That's all I gotta do? But yeah, no, I would watch my friend play this game back in 2012, and like, oh, I thought she was insane, man. Cause I'd see her get to the, like this level here. This level's so hard. I had no idea how she did it. I mean, obviously, she'd been playing Rayman for, like, years. She was trying to do a, a deathless run to Rayman. That's what she was trying to do at the time. Which I thought was just crazy. I was like, deathless Rayman? She's like, nah, I could, I could do this. 
the little practice. Crazy talk. Ah, oh, gee, spikes. Spikes, please! Oh, man. Obviously, she's the one that got me to play Origins and Legends as well. And, uh, Glackham's saying, uh, spiders are unironically the most annoying enemy in the game. Fair enough. And I'm actually trying to do a damageless raid, man? Yo, that's pretty cool. I mean, uh... Obviously, you wouldn't be able to damage boost through anything, but I'm sure you could still do it pretty fast. Just, oh man, the precision required is the real thing there. But again, you know, you speed around the game, I'm sure you could do it. Enough attempts. You know, that would be interesting if I tried to do, like, Damageless X2, which I think would be way easier than Damageless Ray, man. But yeah, no, I, I like the concept. Oh, jeesh. Oh, goodness. Yo, Noki Jade, have you been at this for 16 hours? Not straight. Not straight. This is probably like my fourth time, I think, playing Rayman. So I, I generally go at it for a few hours. Like, quite a few hours, but... <sighs> this game's so hard. <laughs> I'm only making so much progress. Yeah, I, I didn't play Rayman growing up. Played this game for the first time five years ago. And I didn't make it very far. I'd given up back then. I was like, no, this, this game's too hard. I can't beat it. I like it. Just way too hard for me. But now Glackham, man, Glackham has conscripted me to beat this game. So I'm trying. I really am. Oh, jeez. It's just, oh, it's just so hard. I'm gonna try my best, gosh darn it. Oh man. <laughs> Not making a lot of progress. That's another game over. But yeah, we got we got our three continues. We'll just, you know, we'll go back at it again. As we continually play these levels, we will get better at them. We will learn like where the traps are where the cages are, where to get like the bonus HP, the bonus lives, learn how to dodge everything. You know, that's what we did in the other levels, that's what we'll do here too. With enough time, with enough patience, enough determination, we can get through anything. Or at least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> oh man. And for a second you thought this was uh, me doing it for a whole day? Oh man, I'd be out of my mind! Dude, could you imagine me? Doing a 24 hour stream of just Rayman? Oh no, I'm not a strong enough person for that. I like the life that I live. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can make it through that. That's a little much. 24 hours straight Rayman. That's cruel. All right. Well, we made it to the checkpoint, so that's cool. Why did I not grab the first cage? Or the HP. I could have six HP right now. Instead, I have one. Why did I not grab those? I wasn't. Oh man, I missed the uh, missed the dude there. I tried to get the punch. I missed. You know, you're making me play Rayman two and three next. Oh no. <laughs> what are two and three like? I've never seen Rayman two or three. I've never even seen them with my eyes. Cause like, I've seen, obviously, I watched Black and Speedrun this game. I've seen Origins, like, I've played Origins, I beat Origins. I really like that game, it's so good. I've played Legends, a lot of it, but I haven't beaten it. I should, I should go back to Legends and beat that game at some point. I need to. But yeah, Rayman 2 and 3. I don't even know what those games look like. I believe Rayman 2's the 64 one? I've seen it in, like gaming magazines when I was a kid. You know, I always thought Rayman looked really funny. 
But, um... Oh, oops, 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 dead. Yeah, no, nah, I never played those ones, though. Got no idea what's up with that. Alright, come on, thanks. We just gotta learn all these jumps, and it'll be easy. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man, I don't want to die here. This isn't how it's supposed to end. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we made it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we actually made it. Um, let's see, 24 hour Rayman, I will not stay for most of it, but good luck, whoa, 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 that was figuratively speaking, I don't have enough life, I think, to play Rayman for 24 hours straight, that would kill me, I would die of, like, Rayman disease or something, I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez, that platform fell so fast, slow your roll, buddy. I bet there's a secret down one of these. It's not this one. <laughs> I'm sure it's one of them, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, Super Sense Slayer saying, The only series I can see you doing a 24-hour stream for would be Mega Man. Like MAGFest Mega Marathon, where they play as many Mega Man games as possible. That, that makes a lot of sense. That sounds like a lot of fun. We could play... I mean, because, like, on Saturday and Sundays, we're already used to playing X1 through 5. Oh, jeesh. Oh, I'm still alive. I thought I, I thought I messed up. So yeah, like X1 through 5, we can do that. Oh, I would not, would not play, oh, like, on a bad day, on a bad day I'll play X6. It's not going to be a happy day. On X7, man, I can't do that. I think it's this one. This is where the secrets are. I could play, I could play X6 on a bad day. Not X7, I can play X8. X8 is fine. I would love to play some Battle Network games. Battle Networks are cool. The Mega Man Zero series is really sweet. Um, I've, I have never played the ZX games. I'm told they're really good. So I wouldn't mind doing that. Don't shoot me with needles, man. Don't gotta be like that. Alright, I guess you can just be on the ground here. Alright, let's see. Um, any specific version? Rayman 2 PC? And Cyclone saying, Not enough to do 24 hours of Rayman? Get good, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. No, thank you. I'd rather not do Rayman for 24 hours. Like, you know, it's like... Uh, what's, what's the best explanation I can give for doing Rayman 24 hours straight? I don't know. I guess that'd be like doing I Wanna Be The Guy. Like, I don't know how many people know I Wanna Be The Guy. But yeah, like, imagine you've never beaten I Wanna Be The Guy or Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And like, that you you weren't naturally gifted at those games. You found them to be pretty hard. And this one was like, yeah, 24 hours straight of that. Ugh. I mean, not that I, not that I couldn't do 24 hours of some difficult games, like, some games I really, really enjoy, like, uh, Ikaruga, oh my goodness, I love that game, that shoot 'em up I've played that game so many times, I've actually never beaten it, I've gotten, I've made it to, like, the fourth level, I think, I'm pretty sure I've made it to the fourth level, but, like, back then I wasn't trying very hard to beat it, I think I could beat it now if I, like, tried. But I, I just had so many games at the time, so... I mean, I played it a lot. Like, getting to the fourth level wasn't very easy for me. And I'm dead. And yo, Super Sin Slayer saying the ZX games are indeed good. And from what I gather... Uh, oh, they are indeed good from what you gather. And uh, also, didn't mention the Legend series, I see. Rest in peace, Doom Stays Dreams. I mean, I've never played the Legends games, but I assume if I played those, they would take up a lot of stream time. Because, you know, they're pretty big games from my understanding, so... Like, if I was going to do a 24-hour stream of, like, all the Mega Man games, I would try to play as many games as possible, rather than, like, say, just play all the Battle Networks. 
because the battle networks themselves, like, you know, those easily. I could probably play, like, three games and that would be the whole stream. I mean, it depends on, like, how fast I go through. I mean, obviously, you know, it took quite a while beating those games as a kid. But, I mean, even then, there's, there's still RPGs. They're naturally long games. There's a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of text. If you don't know where things are, you gotta find those. It can take a while. Oh, come on! The checkpoint's right there! Uh-oh. Did I get it? You know, Blackham says, you want me to play Ikaruga when you've never beaten it yourself? Well, yeah, because I think you're really good at games, so I'm sure you would do well. And, like, I could beat Ikaruga. I definitely could. I was just busy playing other games at the time. I played a lot of, uh... Oh, those, those were my bad years, man. I was playing World of Warcraft back then. World of Warcraft took up way too much of my time. I was like... There were games that I loved more than WoW, but I was addicted. I was addicted to that game, man. Like, I would literally... Oh, Raymond, it's okay. I would literally pull myself out of bed. You know, not to get food. Not to, not to do anything, really. i just get on that computer, and I would just log in. Alright, let's do this dungeon. I need to grind this dungeon out. I'm trying to get this gear piece. I'd do that. Okay, I got, got the right amount of gear. Now I can raid. So, you know, just try to find those uh, groups of people to do those raids with. And just do that over and over and over again. Oh, it was bad. I was definitely addicted to WoW. But yeah, going to Australia, that was good for me. That got me away from... Well, no, I kind of I, I kind of quit World of Warcraft before I went to Australia. I got burnt out. It took long enough. I played... Because I played vanilla. Well, I played beta. I played beta. Vanilla, uh, Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, uh, what was it called? Cataclysm, and then Mist of Pandaria. And I missed the, I missed the cloud! And then I stopped playing. Ted Doctors has 750 Korok Seeds. Yo, grats, man, you're getting up there. You know, Glackham's saying 2 and 3 are much easier games than 3D platformers. Yo, that sounds nice. Like, uh, first off, I like 3D platformers. I really do. Like, um, Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, um, what else? I mean, Kirby 64 is not really 3D. Not really. There's a couple of top-down segments. I wouldn't really call that 3D, though. Well, no, there's a 3D fight. Even then. I don't know, I just really like Kirby 64. It's one of my favorite Kirby games. Um... What else? 3D platformers. Oh, Crash Bandicoot, Spire of the Dragon. So yeah, I'm, I'm curious what a 3D Rayman would be like. I think I could dig it. And uh, Super Sin Slayer, truth be told, you probably could have beat Mega Man Legends before you beat Rayman 1. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. I can believe that. I will find that one hard to believe. For some reason. Couldn't be this, uh, 16 hours, 36 minutes on that. Not even at a final stage yet. Alright, here we go. We're making progress, guys. We got this. We gotta believe in ourselves. We can accomplish anything we set out to do. Alright, I've messed up here every time, but today, I'm on top of it. It's too easy. Alright, well that went a lot better than I actually thought it was going to go. But you know, it's, it's always fun to talk things up. Um, it looks like the game wants me to go up there, but I don't see how that's possible. Hmm. And, uh, let's see, the goal is 900 before next Friday when the DLC comes out? Good luck! And, um, you thought Breath of the Wild DLC came out in August? Yeah, no, nah, it's, uh, June 30th. Uh, yeah, what Tense Doctor said. Which one is hard mode? Yep, the one coming up. Oh, Vink, speaking of DK64, ever planning on streaming it? Uh, probably. I'll probably end up doing DK64 at some point. I don't know when, but I, I need to figure that stuff out. I should really 
schedule these things better than I actually want to do. But um, at some point, I would love to do that. I think Donkey Kong 64 is a very cool game. I should play it on stream at some point. Like, Cinnamon, Cinnamon played a little bit of it on stream, and I was jealous. No, I don't think I can get through there. What does the game want me to do? Go down this way? Oh, am I dead? Did I die? I'm alive. Currently. Currently alive! Live, Rayman! You need to live! Oh, I, I need to go that way. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> I hesitated! I was thinking about choices! <sighs> Rayman 2 is one of the most iconic 3D platformers of the 1990s? Is it? Iconic platformer of the 1990s. Because I'm pretty sure the most iconic uh, 3D platformers would be Super Mario 64, Spyro the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot. Like, those are like the three games. I mean, yeah, there's Banjo-Kazooie, which is like, you know, really popular with like, you know, its following, but Banjo-Kazooie really isn't on the same level as, say, Mario or Crash or Spyro. It's really not. I mean, it's a great game. I think it's got fantastic, amazing design. It's definitely, you know, as far as design goes, it's definitely right next to those guys. Possibly better than, like, say, 64 uh, Mario, but... As far as, like, you know, being iconic, that's different. Good and iconic are two different things. Hmm. I'd really like to reach that. But I'm not sure if I can. Oh, he's beauty. Come on, Rayman, you can you can do it! Stay strong, Rayman! So close. So close. Oh yes, I got on the thing. And jump to the cloud. Hmm, how do I get over there though? Oh, I don't see how to do that. And, uh, let's see, Super Sense Light was saying, Legends isn't quite as long as you'd think. If you were to do two streams of it, you could beat it in two streams. But you've got enough games, races on your plate as is, I'm looking forward to you playing Rayman 2, DK64, and whatever you decide to play next. Yo, thank you. Glackham saying Spyro wasn't iconic, and Crash isn't even really 3D. What do you mean Spyro isn't iconic? They used it to launch Skylanders. Spyro was the face of Skylanders, that's why that did so well. Like, if it was just the completely, like, you know, no brain recognition game, there's no way. Nah, they use that IP, they use that, uh, nostalgia baiting. Like, like, look, hey, it's Spyro, Spyro's back. Spyro's not on any of the art anymore now, like, I mean, yeah, he's fallen to the landslide, landslide now. But, or to the side, whatever. But yeah, he, uh, he was very iconic. Oh yeah, I can grab the life, can't I? I forgot I could do that. That's, that's nice, I like that. I still don't know how to get over here. Oh, whatever, man. Moving on. Rayman's moving on. He's got things to do, people to see. Hopefully not die. We'll see how that goes. Oh, wait, what? Sonic Adventure 1 might be up there? Yeah, that's true. Sonic is definitely an iconic 3D platformer. <laughs> what do you mean you're not sure about iconic? Like, yeah, no, Sonic's iconic. I didn't say good, I said iconic. There's two different things. Sonic and Mario are two of the most recognizable video game characters, so it kind of goes. Um, that's what iconic means. And uh, I rarely, if ever, hear anyone talk about Rayman 2. In fact, Lackham, you mentioning Rayman 2 just now is the first time I've ever heard of it, in regards to 3D platformers as a whole, anyway. Grand Magusta, well, time to leave the lurk mode to wish you a good night, everyone. You know, good night. Grand Magusta, thanks for coming by, and Super Sin Slayer, Sonic Adventure 1 was amazing at the time. No, it hasn't aged very well. No, it hasn't. Um, definitely not. I still really like Sonic Adventure 2, though, man. I can, I can play that game any day, and it'll be just fun times. Sonic Adventure 1, I've actually not really played a lot of. Because I, I owned Sonic Adventure 2 before I owned Sonic Adventure 1, and I didn't really like how... You went through like towns and like talk to people and stuff. I found it kind of boring and jarring and weird. 
Oh, jeez, man. What is all of that? Why? Why do we got to do all of that? I have three teams. That's nothing. Oh, that cloud's gone. Didn't realize that was one of those appearing, disappearing clouds. All right. Tits Doctor, are you the center of the universe? <laughs> Tits Doctor, considering how much I listen to nostalgic game reviewers on YouTube, would I have heard of it if it was iconic? Also, growing up in the 90s helps. Yeah, that does really help. Growing up in the 90s would give you a better perspective of what was iconic in the 90s. And Super Sense Slayer, uh, I love Sonic Adventure 2. Yo, if we ever hang out sometime, I will race you. Yo, let's do it, dude. Yo, I will warn you, though. I have actually raced. I have raced people in Sonic Adventure 2. I mean, obviously, there's my sisters that I played the game with growing up with. But uh, uh, in Australia, there was this tournament called uh, Nin Four Stars. And essentially, it took... Um, that's not the right way I'm dead. It took four games, and there was four tournaments. There's a Smash Brothers tournament, a Mario Kart Wii tournament. Oh, yeah, that was Smash Brothers Brawl. Oh. Uh, but yeah, Smash Brothers Brawl, uh, Mario Kart Wii... Um, Sonic Adventure 2, and what was the last game? I don't remember. Not important. Oh, Pokemon. It was Pokemon X and Y. So yeah, they're doing all of those tournaments together. I actually placed pretty far in the Sonic Adventure 2 races. To be fair, I probably had a lot of experience. And it's funny, because like, a lot of the races, or at least the ones that I was watching, like when it comes to Sonic Adventure 2, it's really not, you know, so much two people racing against each other when you, like, watch them do it. It's really which player can handle the camera and the weird quirkiness of the game system better. It was interesting. Yo, Grand Magusta with the host? I thought you already hosted me, Grand Magusta. Or am I mistaken? I thought you did. And yo, Grand Magusta, well, I think, uh, even if not many people stumble on my stream, I will leave you a host before going so they actually get to see some good content. <laughs> yo, it's all good, Grand Magusta. It's not a worry, man. But yeah, no, like, um, I enjoy the Donkey Kong 64. I enjoy it quite a bit. I mean, I won't lie, though. If you were racing like some Donkey Kong Country, like 1, 2, or 3, any one of them, oh man, I would be glued to those streams. But you know, that, that's just game preference. I'm biased. Don't listen to me. You follow your heart. Alright, so let's try not to die. Round a million. Oh, you hosted Hugh for a bit? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's all good. Do what you gotta do. Pouches. Why did I go back over here on the left side? I know I don't have the tings to pay him! I am a poor Rayman. I don't have that kind of money. I don't feel good about this stage. <laughs> Oh man, so when you raced in Sonic Adventure 2, was it multiplayer or race through a story mode? Um, it was actually the multiplayer mode. It was pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, again, like, I know you can attack each other, you know, when you collect a certain amount of rings, but essentially the way it would play out, like, everyone knows how to deal with the hits so that they don't really, you know, impact you too much. So, honestly, and you can mash through Chaos Control as well, so it's like, not even a big deal. But, um, yeah, it was really just people dealing with, like, like, it was just whichever player had a, a better understanding of, like, hey, if I use Somersault here... Wait, I beat the stage? I didn't expect to beat the stage. Didn't expect that. But, yeah, it was essentially, like, people would be like, if I Somersault here, Sonic is going to do a U-turn and take me not where I want to go. Like, if people understood that and knew where to Somersault, that would be the better racer. That would be the person that won like 10 times out of 10. What do I do here? Hello, Joe. What do you what do you want from me? Joe offers Rayman a firefly to light up the dark. Well, thank you, Joe. I'll take that firefly. Um, let's see. 
Um, Glacken was saying, uh, Rayman 2 is definitely iconic. It set a standard for 3D platformers at the end of the decade. It was Game of the Year in 2000 on IGN and it was critically acclaimed on release. You have to play it and you'll see. Um, it was Game of the Year in 2000. Well, that doesn't sound like an iconic 90s platformer because it's Game of the Year 2000. But I'm not arguing that it's a good or bad game. I'm just arguing if it's iconic or not. Because, like, I knew of the game through, like, some gaming magazines that were promoting it. Rayman was very heavily promoted in the 90s, I remember. But I, I don't know many people that ever played Rayman. Rayman 2 was also the most re-released game in the series? Yeah, I think so. In uh, Tense Doctor, my sister and I played that on Grind Rail stage a lot. The one in the pyramid? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. What came out in 1999? Yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. If it come out in 1999, like, it's kind of hard to call yourself, like, you know, iconic 90s platformer. Like, it, it's instantly going to lose out to games that have just been there longer in the 90s. Just by default. But I mean, like, the easiest way, you know, the easiest way to tell, like, how iconic that is, is just, just, like, do polls on Twitter, man. Like, if you can find, uh, enough people, hey, which of these games do you consider the most iconic 3D platformer? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, don't put Mario in there, because that's, like, that's, like, that's stupid. That'll just destroy the poll. Put it, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, Crash Bandicoot... Uh, Spyro, Rayman, and then what else could we put there? What was like, what was up there in the 90s for platforming, 3D wise? I mean, cause yeah, Crash and Spyro instantly come to mind. Um, I don't know when Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank came out. That, that's like PS2, isn't it? That's, that's way down. Um, what else was there? I'm sure there was a lot of stuff. <laughs> Not a lot of it was good. Most of it was pretty bad. Three D platformers only around since nineteen ninety six. Well, yeah, but like nineteen ninety six versus nineteen ninety nine is a three year difference. That's a lot of time. That's going to be pretty substantial for what makes something iconic or not. Because again, I'm not arguing good or bad. I'm arguing iconic, which is really just a popularity contest. That's literally all it is. And Rayman's not popular. <laughs> he really isn't. I mean, you know, look at... Like, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean now, but... You know, there's there's these bunny rabbits. Called rabbits. <laughs> and, uh... They got a couple games. Which is so stupid. I don't... Because, uh, like, I don't like rabbits. I don't like them. I like Rayman way more. I don't understand why, like, his enemies are more interesting or whatever. Don't they have their own cartoon? I'm pretty sure the rabbits have their own cartoon. But, like, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know if I would call Rayman, especially Rayman 2, which I only know is Rayman 64. I don't know if I would call that, like, extremely iconic. I mean, I guess, like, it could be iconic, right? It could be, it could be a very iconic game, but, like, it's, uh... Different levels, right? So, like, what's the most iconic? Out of, like, the one I was suggesting that's not Mario. You know, like, Sonic, like, what's, what's the list? Like, Sonic... Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Rayman, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure more people are into Crash than they are into Spyro. And I mean, yes, I know, it's not like super 3D. Like, it is technically a 3D game. It's extremely linear. That's the kind of level design that, like, Super Mario 3D Land and World has. Which is, yeah, it's very linear. It is. That's how it worked out, you know? They are trying to figure out how do we do a 3D platformer. It was a brand new thing at the time. So, uh, they put a lot in a, a lot of thought into it, and that's what they came up with, you know? Now, Glover you are aware of? Yeah, people like Glover. I wouldn't call Glover iconic. Some people know Glover, though. 
think ra rabbits are way more notorious than they are popular. <laughs> oh, that's fair. You'd still include Banjo? Yeah, I guess that's fair. If we're not including Mario, we could put Banjo in there. I think it's safe to say that Banjo is probably a bit more iconic than Donkey Kong 64 if we're talking iconic versus infamous. <laughs> I mean, I love Donkey Kong 64, but I know, like, all the bad rep it gets. I've never even heard of Banjo until last year on Twitch, and I'm the center of the universe. <laughs> I mean, like, Banjo... Banjo's pretty big. Like, it is, but it's not that big. Like, I would, I would say Banjo's, like, Rayman level. Which, again, I don't think Rayman's very big. But yeah, I, I would say Crash. I would say Crash and Spyro and Sonic, obviously, are all much more iconic than those characters. I mean, obviously, you know, Crash has fell into obscurity, pretty much. Like, you know, he had a lot of games on, like, PS2 and Wii and all that, but, like... That was, everything's off the radar at that point. Nobody's playing these games. It's, uh, the IPs changed hands between developers so many times at that point. Spyro, man. Spyro got it way worse than Crash did. I mean, at least Crash is getting his insane trilogy. You've known Banjo, just never played it, Cyclone? Since Doctor also never played Banjo. Yo, I, as a kid, I never played Banjo-Kazooie. I played Banjo-Tooie. I still have that, that game cartridge to today. I have Banjo-Tooie. I love that game. It was so good. And everyone was like, oh, Banjo-Tooie is so bad. I had never played Banjo-Kazooie before, so I didn't have, like, you know, that nostalgia or that bias. So I played Banjo-Kazooie second. I played that for the first time in, what, 20... Yeah, uh, 2015, I think. I think I played Banjo-Kazooie for the first time in 2015. It's a great game, I like it. But, uh, Banjo-Kazooie and 2E are very different games. Kazooie is a lot more linear than 2E is. And, uh, not that linear is bad, I like linear games, but... Uh, and 3D games in general, like, 2D games I prefer to be more linear 3d games again this is all preference like it doesn't matter it's just my preference but yeah 2d games i like to be linear 3d games i like to be more open-ended and again that's very very just general and just my preferences Blackham says rayman is still a fairly iconic platformer though maybe not to the level of mario but it's still one of the faces of ubisoft the face of ubisoft i don't know about all that like i mean like, when someone says Ubisoft, they don't think Rayman, you know? They think of Uplay, <laughs> how lame that is. And Assassin's Creed, you know? Assassin's Creed, now that, that's a face of Ubisoft right there. And what else do they do, like Far Cry or something? Oh man, I'm so bad, dude. These jumps are hard. Uh, Legends and Origins, I'm pretty sure, are the two most re uh, recent Rayman games. Face of Ubisoft, definitely Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is so popular. Like, cause, like, what the thing is, is, like, when I went to Australia, right, because this is another thing, like, there's different demographics. Like, in the U.S., Rayman really didn't do that well. Like, he just didn't. Like, compared to where he did in the rest of the world. Like, in the U.K., in Australia, Rayman did way better. Like, cause, uh... Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't honestly know why, but like... When it comes to like... Let's see... Like, I'm a pretty busybody when it comes to, like, video game competitions, tournaments, get-togethers, stuff like that. And... So I know a lot of people into gaming. Like, journalists, composers, just game enthusiasts, crazy collectors. And in the U.S., I don't know anyone <laughs> that plays Rayman. Like, I mean, that's not literally true. I, I know one person that played Rayman. His first Rayman game he ever played was Legends. And then, um, compared to Australia, I know a lot of people that play Rayman. Again, it still pales in comparison to Crash Bandicoot. 
but I actually know people that play Rayman in Australia. Quite a few of them. I don't know why, I don't know if it's like a marketing thing, if it's just because PlayStation 1 did better in certain regions or whatever. But yeah, there's definitely demographics, and I think certain demographics like Rayman more than others. And yo, Larry saying I can't find the stylus from a Wii U. I choose to believe that Finks came to my house and stole it. You owe me like a dollar, dude. Um, can I just give you my stylus? Like, I don't really use like my 3DS or my Wii U very often. I wouldn't mind if you if you took it. You're fine with me. I don't need styluses. I have a lot of styluses actually. I have a lot of 3DSs. I have three 3DSs. I don't use any of them. Oh, I'm almost dead. I never have any teens. Oh, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I made it. I'm the best. D-Train says, this is honestly my first time seeing a Rayman game. And you know, I'm saying, except that Rayman sold way more in the US and UK. Although the US is way bigger. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you gotta, you gotta look at it like that. You gotta look at the big picture. He didn't deny stealing it. I might have. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember stealing it. I don't remember stealing the stylus. I don't know why I would. I don't need any. But I have a lot of styluses. I can hook you up. Like um, I got. A, I got like a pen stylus. That's also like a bookmark. You can have that. I don't think it's the best made stylus in my opinion, but it's supposed to be fancy. You can have it though. <laughs> with two less cages. Yeah, no, I didn't get any of the cages. It's pretty bad. But that's okay. We just wanted to get to this part so I could practice. That's, you know, that's the important part. Is, you know, just getting better at the stages over time. So that, uh, you know, we don't... This is so dark. Like, come on, man. This is a really cool mechanic, though. I like this. You gotta go, dude. Nothing personal. Oh, come on. Oh, what? No, 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 no. That's not cool. That's not cool. Not in the slightest. It's like, hey, you don't get to see crawl through this darkness where you can't see anything. And oh, hey. Here's a ball that spawns behind you. While you're panicking about that, you're gonna get shot from the darkness. Enjoy that. That's so not cool. So not cool. Why would they do something like that? It's a... oh man. What did that make appear? Is there... there's a cloud. Take me away, cloud. Yeah, I got a cage! <laughs> Rest in peace, cages. Well, I, I got that cage right there! Oh, what?! You came back?! No! Oh, why? I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that. Well, I already got the cage, so I don't really do anything there. He's right there. Jeez. Show me the world, Fist. I don't... I don't like the looks of this. I gotta jump on a cloud that's gonna vanish. And then what happens? Oh, I can land. Okay. So it was just scary looking, it wasn't an actual threat. That's fine. Oh cool, life. Oh hello guys, how you doing? Just flying around I see. Don't mind me. Just a friendly Rayman passing by. Oh jeez man. I'll never find all the cages in here. It'll never happen. In a million years. Yeah! 
Oh, is, is that it? Is that the whole cave? That was gonna be longer than that. Hmm. Not so bad. I, I thought I was in for so much worse. And now, uh, Glackham's saying, Eat at Joe's, I am always the hardest stage in the game. Well, uh, I'm not happy to hear that. <laughs> good luck, sir. You're gonna do stuff, Tensakrio. It's all good, man. Do what you gotta do. Get those, uh, the Koroks. And Super Sin Slayer, at this point, I feel like Vanks is going to go on a Rayman hiatus after beating Rayman 1. That, that wouldn't be too bad, you know? I could take a little break from Rayman, you know? Like, Rayman, you're a cool guy. I'll see ya. I'll see you later, man. I'll see you later. You just keep believing in yourself. If you want to be the most iconic platformer there ever was, Rayman, you do it. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Live your life, Rayman. Live your life. Hmm. That's not cool. Alright. And then... Uh, yeah, figures. I was like, it's gonna be something stupid. It's gonna be something chill. No, 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 don't do it! I can just... No. <laughs> I, th I thought I could. I was like, there's plenty of room for a Rayman to fit under those guys. I was really optimistic there. like that one that's there like if you just go straight down on the left side you gotta get hit but I mean you have the helicopter so I guess it's fair that's that's uh, not my favorite not the end of the world except for when you're bad like that and you just stand up into things and this isn't bad either you have plenty of time to react and stuff I'm just bad That was a good jump. You did it, Rayman. Believed in you the whole time. Oh, man! Man! Why? I, I wasn't comfortable enough to take the jump yet. And, uh, Glack was saying, yeah, but Rayman 2 is literally a break from e even Mega Man. Mega Man loves spikes from blind drops, though. Not really. Uh, let's see. Let me think of a segment with, like, a blind spike jump. I can think of, I can think of two. And they are Mega Man Extreme 1 and Mega Man Extreme 2, the Game Boy games. Because uh, there's not a lot of screen scrolling space. They really should have, you know, not put spikes. Because one of them, it's actually spikes, and the other one, it's electricity. But either way, like, if you just drop in these certain sections, you just die. There's no reacting to it. It's, uh, it's pretty stupid. But... I don't believe there's any death drops in X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. There probably is an X. No, there is an X6. I remember a very specific section with spikes that you can drop into in X6. X7's just garbage, so I don't even care. Um, X8? No, I don't think... No, not an X8. There's no spike death drops in X8. But you're right, there is, there is an X6. There probably is an X7, but I try to block those memories out. And yeah, Extreme 1, Extreme 2. Let's see. Too, too many. 2.5D also had those spike passages down and it's still blind. I was thinking more classic Mega Man's. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, like... Like, the Extreme games, like, I agree, like, that's just bad design, like, the way that Extreme 1 and 2 did it, but they're, like, Game Boy games, so I, I cut them some slack, but it, it is just bad design, it is bad, like, I agree. Um, classic Mega Mans, I don't know them as well. Uh, Mega Man 2.5D, to be fair, is a fan game, it's not an actual, like, you know, made by a Capcom game, but, um, as far as death, uh, spike death drops, there's only one in the game, and it's on 
It's on like the first Wily stage. It's towards the beginning. But um, it's not even a death, a spike death drop because going straight down, you can't land on spikes. The spikes are on the left and the right wall, but they, uh, they jag in and out so that you have to change your positioning. But honestly, it's, it's too, it happens too quick. I don't feel like Mega Man can really make the adjustment needed to avoid those spikes. I agree. I think that segment's bad, but again, it's a fan game. So, I wouldn't really count it towards Mega Man. I would really just say Extreme 1, Extreme 2, X6, and X7. Which, yeah, are, you know, Extreme 1 and Extreme 2, in my opinion, are good games. They're just, they do have moments that, you know, are flawed. They do. But, uh, X6 and X7 are garbage, so, it is what it is. But yeah, like actual classic Mega Man's, I don't know them very well, but I've played 1, 2, and 3 pretty recently. I haven't played 4, 5, and 6 in a while. Do I really have to hover through all of that? That looks so hard! But uh, yeah, I haven't played 4, 5, and 6 in a while, but... I don't think there is, but I can't say that with 100% certainty. So yeah, I, I could be wrong. 4, 5, or 6 might have a, a spike death drop. But, um, but, like, the games have spikes in them, for sure, but there, there's a huge difference between using spikes and an unfair spike death trap. <laughs> you know? And yeah, definitely 7 and 8, 9 and 10 all don't have them either. Like, that one I know. 9 and 10 I've actually never played, but I've watched the speedruns a lot, because I it was thinking about speedrunning the games. And, you know, they're, they're slower, uh, the screen scrolls slowly, because, you know, they're classic Mega Man. So it's, it's pretty easy to see if there's, like, a spike death drop, uh, drop or not. But again, maybe I wasn't paying close enough attention. I mean, I was paying a lot of attention, because I was like, I really want to speedrun one of these games. But, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have that. I'll double check, though. I can definitely say 7 and 8 don't, though, because I just played them. It is hard. It's the scariest drop in damage list. Oh, that right there, the hover man. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, there's a life there. Well, that just filled my day with joy. Oh, my. <laughs> Look at how many dudes that is. And you know, Super Sense Life says Mega Man 9 and 10 does have blind spike drops. Oh, do they? That's not like NT Creates. Are you sure? Which. Like, I'll, like, you're Super Sin Slayer, so you probably know what you're talking about. Where are the, uh, because I, I would just want to see it for myself. What levels have the blind spike drops on them? Like, I know 9 was intentionally made to be, like, Mega Man too hard or whatever, and they toned it down a bit in 10. So, maybe they did something stupid? A waste of the generosity of the 1-up. You know, I'm bad, okay? You know, sometimes you're just bad and you die to things. It happens. You gotta not be so bad. It wasn't so bad, one wasn't die. Yo, let it go, guys. Let it go. Thank you. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man! I should have just stayed to the left. That would have been safer. I just stayed with this active hitbox. That was the stupidest thing I could have done. So I was just like, oh, okay, I guess I'm damage boosting. I'll just jump through, but now, like... It, it's still there. It's still active. Yeah, I really don't like that part. I mean, like, it's not instant death, but that's like, uh, I can see that definitely hitting you for free the first time. That, I don't know how to dodge, but it's not the worst. Like, there's enemies that spawn literally on top of you in this game. 
It doesn't happen that frequently, though. It was more just that, uh, what was that section? With all the pencils and ink and stuff like that? Yeah, some of that was a little crazy. Can't you just leave me alone, Rox? Ah, oh, jeez, I made it all the way down and I walked into the spikes. I don't... Oh, I deserve that. Um, Super Sense Slayer saying in 9, one stage that comes to mind is early in uh, Splash Woman stage, and then in one of the Wily stages. 10, I believe, has them in Nitro Man stage, and also in Wily stages. To be clear, a blind spike drop would be one you don't see coming, right? Like, um, essentially, I would consider to be a bad design blind spike drop to be something where, like, essentially you naturally would go to, like, a certain section of the level, right? Like, say, like, just right here, right? Like, after this rock, you know, I can't go anywhere but down, right? So I go down, and if there's a spike there, if there's spikes there where I just landed and they killed me, that's terrible design. I mean, yeah, it has that dude over there. If you're too far to the left, it can be bad, but it's, it's really not the worst. Like, Rayman can hover, the screen scrolls, so... And it only deals one damage, so even if it did hit me... Like, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. If there had been spikes at the bottom, though, that's a different story. Like, if it suddenly expected me to use, like, some sort of platforms or things that I didn't know there, I didn't have time to adapt to, that's definitely just a blind spike jump. Like, it can put you in a situation where there are spikes literally under you. But if you have the time to adapt, then it's fine. But spikes just being underneath you isn't necessarily a blind spike jump. You also have the team trail? Yeah, yeah, like team trails, like having stuff like that that leads the player on where to go, that's good stuff. Cause yeah, the tings, the tings, yeah, he's right, he's right, I wasn't even thinking about that. Cause yeah, the, the game's pretty much leading me to be on the right side. So the thing's on the left side, and it's really scary, but I'm not over there, I'm on the right side because I wanted to collect the tings. So like, it really freaked me out, but then, you know, once that moment was over, it's like, oh, that's not, that's actually not that bad. Ah, oh, jeez, I didn't get into the gap, I tried. Ouch. <laughs> it's darn things, man. Oh, I have no HP. I'm going to die. Again. Ah, oh, jeez. That's, that's so hard. They want so much from me. I am but one man, and I am not Rayman. I am Vanks. <laughs> Completely different person. Oh, this is so hard, dude. Uh, to be fair, like, oh my goodness, if I want to beat this game, I have to get all the cages. And I only found, like, what, three cages in the last stage? Before we even got to eat at Joe's? Yeah, the Crystal... Yeah, Crystal Palace. Alright, there's six cages, guys. Let's try to find all six cages. That's all that matters. Let's not worry about beating the level. We can do that. We can beat this level. It's not that hard. But we need to find all the cages. All oh, lives lost in that one section? Yeah, no, we, we brought two continues into that section, so we did lose all the lives that eat at Joe's, not at Crystal Palace. And Super Sense Slayer saying, ah, okay. In that case, I would say that no 9 and 10 don't have badly designed spike traps. There are intricate spike traps, but you can adapt to those, and they aren't unfair. The closest to it is a tight jump in one of 9's widely stages, and you can get an item to deal with that jump. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I didn't think they did. I mean, again, like, I didn't play the games myself, but I, I literally watched the speedruns, like, multiple, multiple times. Like, I think I've watched 10 probably about five times. 
because I was just, I was really interested into the speedrun. So like, and I wasn't just watching like speedrunners as they were going, I was watching the world record over and over again, just because I was curious how things were implemented. I was watching more 10 than 9, but I like both, but I'm obviously more interested in one than the other. I didn't get, gosh darn it, I only had the 1 HP, why do I keep forgetting to get the thing at the beginning? At the beginning of the level, there's HP to grab. I grab that. There's a cage on the bottom right. You grab that. Okay? Well, we gotta go all the way back. You know? I should've I should have just game over. It would have been faster. I can I can just exit out and reload the save. That'll be fine. Right? Can I can I do that? Not at the stage, no. What I'll just game over. I'm just gonna game over. We're gonna we're gonna grab the health. We're gonna grab the cage. We're gonna make it to the checkpoint. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. But yeah, it was funny at the time. I didn't even know nine and ten was made by Inti Creates, the same guys doing, you know, Mega Man Zero, uh, Blaster Master Zero, Mighty Gun Volt Burst. I like NT Create. Pretty good. Like the worst thing they ever did was Mighty Number no. Nine, and like honestly, I have no idea what that kind of development was like. I would love to hear what kind of things they had to go through. I mean, because like obviously, you know, it wasn't their expertise. They were way out of their expertise, and they were expected to develop a game for like. What was it? Nine platforms or something? Of varying generations? It's crazy. And I mean, it wasn't their sole game. That was Com Comcept's game. And they wanted to Integrates to make it. And I don't know if Integrates were the only group working on it. I know that there were a lot, a lot of people involved in the project. Oh, come on! Did you see that? Oh, well, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Wait for the platform to start dropping before you jump, or it'll kill you when you grab the ledge. Oh wait, the thing didn't pop up. What do I what do I have to do to make that pop up? Go over here? I did it before, but I Oh okay, just go over the sign. That's all you want. <laughs> we all saw it, that's good. Alright, how do I get back down without like taking all the damage? Or just take the damage, you know? It costs 1 HP to get through. That's fine. Death by Red Elevator. Yo, that Red Elevator doesn't like me. Doesn't like Rayman. That's right, I have to go to where the checkpoint is to unlock that cage. I remember. Yep, see, there it is. Easy peasy. Oh, jeesh. Man, I'm not trying to jump into that, but I keep doing it. There we go. It's got to be a little lower, Rayman, just a little lower. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. whoops. I thought there was another platform on that side to land on. No, that's uh, not quite... I wasn't paying attention, because you can you can see that section from the other side. And Super Sin Slayer saying, Inti Creates worked on Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, and the newest game in the uh, series Half Game, or Half Genie Hero. Yeah, I only learned about that recently. I think it was you that said it. Like, uh, I had no idea that Inti Creates helped uh, Way Forward to make those, because yeah, those are Way Forward games, right? Because I've, I've played, uh, what's it called? Mighty Switch Force, I think? The game with, like, the, uh, the police officer girl. Uh, what's her name? It's like a play on like, pa uh, what's it called? The Paddy Wagon? So yeah, I think her name's like Patty or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> well, I got the cage. Also died. But yeah, I, I liked that game. That game was fun. I haven't played the sequel though. I probably should. Yeah, I got the game for like a dollar. I was like, oh, one dollar, I'll play that. And it was so fun. It's a, it's a short game, but I really liked it. Ah, oh, jeesh. I do like Pirate's Curse more, though. I like Half Genie Hero 2, probably your second favorite. Okay, rest in peace cages. Vinx has gotten before, but forgot. Well, I got three cages, man. I just gotta get three more and we're good to go. We got this. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I don't know where the other three cages are though. Alright, let's not jump into my death this time. There's no platform to land on. And uh, nobody's saying I'd recommend Mighty Switch Force 2. It was an awesome credit song. Oh, it has an awesome credit song. Got you, got you. That's pretty cool. Like, I had a lot of fun with the first one, so can understand that the second one's probably good too. Oh man, bad. Wacom <laughs> saying, uh, oh right, I have to play Half Genie Hero on that new difficulty. Oh, there's a new difficulty for the game, that's cool. New Super Sensor saying, yeah, Shantae and Mighty Switch Force belong the way forward. Risky's Revenge is good, short but good. Yeah, I own Risky's Revenge. Like, I have Risky's Revenge on Steam. I have, what is it, a Pirate Curse or something? On a Wii U? It's on the same Wii U as Shovel Knight. I got both of those games in like Humble Bundles. Oh man. I've never played Risky's Revenge. I should though. I'm told it's a lot better than the first one because I played the first one. I did not like that game. Cause like I watched the speedrun of it and I thought it looked kind of interesting and then I tried to play it myself and I was like, oh man, this is an old game. The conventions here are not good. <laughs> this is not fun. I didn't like it. Didn't like it one bit. So it's just like with the original Shantae, right? There's just all these enemies that spawn right on top of you. Like you'll beat an enemy, right? So you're like, okay, I don't want the enemy to hit me, so let me like beat it. And like first off, she has like the worst attack. She like attacks with her hair. Like, her hair reaches nowhere, so you're, like, right next to the enemy. So, like, it can just hit you while you're trying to hit it. But then, like, as you're fighting that enemy, an enemy will spawn on top of you. And, like, I mean, it depends on the zones, but there's so many zones where the enemies can just spawn anywhere. And so, like, it, you just run forward, there's no enemies, spawn on top of you, spawn on top of you, spawn on top of you. So, like, they can just be really bad RNG, and you just die. It was so unenjoyable. I did not like it in the bit, in the least. And the fact that, you know, there's no, like, limits to the enemies. If you stay there, they just keep spawning. So the idea is to just leave, but they can also just spawn on top of you. Ah, oh, oh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. It so bad. Like, I know it's an older game or whatever, but, like, I don't know. There's better older games. I'm not doing too good, man. I'm getting worse at these uh, swinging platforms. Yeah, I have uh, Shantae and Mighty Switch. Oh, yeah, I already read that. You'll like Risky's Revenge better than the first one. That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. 
I mean, I have it on Steam. What did uh, Risky's Revenge originally come out on? Because uh, the first Shantae, that's that's just a Game Boy game, right? Or is it Game Boy Color? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I played it, like, back in what? Oh, man. I want to say also 2012? It might have been more recent. I want to say we got all the cages in this section. Let's believe that's the truth. I want to say it's just a three cages here, another three cages in the next section. Perfect balance, you know? You know, nobody, honestly, I didn't have a problem with Shantae 1. It was pretty easy to me. Then again, I enjoy those type of games. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I had literally no, like, I have no nostalgia. Like, I played the game for the first time, you know, in uh, 2010 plus. So uh, I, I just played it for what it was. I like it. I'm not big on a lot of older games. And like, you know, it's not like I'm just this whippersnapper, you know, I'm not this like, you know, 14 year old kid. It's like, ah, I just won't play Call of Duty. Nah, I, I grew up playing regular Nintendo. I also know who, what games I find just very frustrating. Right, I want to say this is where the cage is. Yeah, this is, this is it. There we go. Bam, four cages. We just need two more. I'm trying to think of a game, like an older game, that has enemies that spawn anywhere that I like. Or just at all, really. Just a game with enemies that spawn anywhere. From like NES or Sega Master System. Though I didn't play the Sega Master System as a kid. I didn't play that till much older. It's like obviously, you know, I'm growing up with like uh, Mario, so I'm used to predefined routes for enemies. And there's Contra. I played a lot of Contra, which is a much harder game. I liked Contra. I played Mega Man, obviously, the classics. I enjoyed those enemies again. Like, they can respawn. And, like, there's there could be some lame segments where, like, say, because uh, enemies respawn... Or wait, no, that's more X than classic. So, yeah. I mean, they do have, uh, what are they called? They're, I was gonna say Gordos, not Gordos. They're like these, these like, cans. <laughs> there's, like, these can enemies that just spawn in certain spots. But again, they spawn in particular spots and make their way towards you. Oh, that needle was still coming to me. Okay. I thought I thought we were all done with the needle. Guess not. Yeah, thinking trying to think of a game with enemies that spawn in random places. Besides Shantae. There has to be something. I mean obviously. Oh, that's a platformer. Yeah, Contra Contra wasn't random. I mean like the way the game is, you're supposed to die in certain areas. Like, enemies are literally come out of the bushes to shoot you, and you only have the one hit. But that, that's just the kind of game it is. It's an arcade-style game. I don't mind that if that's the genre it is. Because, you know, it's, it's all about memorization. It's literally what the game's built around. Yeah, Sonic games obviously don't do that. So that's, again, more Genesis than Master System. I know it was on Master System, but like, you know, those those are D makes. They made Genesis first. Alright, let's see. Uh, uh, Shantae 1 was on Game Boy Color, and Risky's Revenge came out originally on DSi. That's quite the gap. Interesting. Um, and then, uh, the only old game I'm having problems with at the moment is the original 1987 Metroid. Trying to beat it with 90%, 100% for the first time before the Metroid 2 3DS remake. Oh, man. Yeah, no, nah, classic Metroid is not my favorite either. For two reasons. Like, because it doesn't have random enemy spawns, so it's not like that. Like, the enemy spawns are fine. But it's just, uh, oh, there's a cage over there. I would like to have that. Let's go get it. But, um, where do I go from here? Oh, there it is. Oh, the checkpoint's right there. But, uh, it's, oh man, there's that one room. I talk about this every time I bring up Metroid 1. There's this room where there's three doors. Like, you come into the room from the left. 
and I believe it's a door. I think there's two doors, both on the right side. I might be wrong. It might be one's on the upper left and one's on the upper right, but I remember it is on the upper right and on the bottom right. And like generally, like I mean, maybe this is just because I didn't play Metroid 1 first, but I mean even the game itself, up until that point, when there's bombable walls, they're either, oh, there's spikes on that. I didn't see that. How am I supposed to get up there to get to the cage? Oh, it must be from over there. But, um, but yeah, there's either blocks show that they're bombable, or you're just at the end of a room, so, uh, and you can, the game shows you, like, early on that there's something on the other side, and so you'll blow up blocks that just look normal, but, uh, they actually blow up, but they're usually only at the edge of a room, versus in Metroid 1, literally, like, just part of the normal route. You have to, in that room, to get to Ridley section, you have to, uh, there's just this one random tile. I think it's like four or five tiles from the right wall. You just have to blow up that random tile on the floor in a room where there's three other doors to choose from. It's crazy. I don't understand that design. That and every time you die in Metroid, you have 30 HP, no matter how many energy tanks you have. So, like... You have to just spend like what, like ten minutes to re-get all your health back? It's pretty bad. But it's just it's just bad design. Zero Mission did it way better. They were like, oh yeah, here you go, you can just get your HP back in these certain locations, which is the same thing Super Metroid does, is what uh, a lot of the Metroid games do. Banks is in La La Land, head in the clouds. I got five cages, mister. Five cages, and there's the sixth one! Oh snap! Trying to call me out, and I'm finding all the cages. How do I get over there, though? Oh yeah, this is the cage I don't know how to get, because there's like this section right here, right? But I can't go through, because there's spikes there. What do I do? Christopher Fritz says, Didn't we learn from Zelda 1 to use a bomb on every piece of wall? Need to carry over that knowledge to Metroid. Um, no, not me. Uh, I didn't actually play Zelda 1 as a kid. I actually played, uh, Zelda 2 first. I didn't like Zelda 2. Well, no, that's not true. I liked Zelda 2 a little bit. I did actually like Zelda 2. I didn't make it very far, though. The game was really hard. How do I get to that cage? Yeah, my, my first real Zelda game was Link to the Past. Yeah, Zelda 1... I'm not a huge fan of Zelda 1, either. <laughs> I'm really not. I don't think it's a bad game. Like, it's... Zelda 1's handled a million times better than Metroid, in my opinion. I think it's done way better. Still not my favorite game, but I think it does... Because, like, you have NPCs that tell you, like, where to find things. I mean, like, it's just unfortunate, though, because, like, my worst experience with Zelda 1 was how there's this dungeon you can only get to. There's a fairy lake where there's no fairy, and if you blow the whistle there, the lake evaporates so you can go in the dungeon. I spent forever trying to find that dungeon without a guide. For ever. Because there's a dungeon where, uh, I can't remember which wall it is, but you blow up one of the walls, and there's an old guy, and he's like, yeah, use a whistle in a, like, suspicious place or something like that. Which is a dead giveaway of what you need to do in that lake. Because you get to that lake, and you're like, why is there not a fairy here? It is suspicious. But, like, I never found that guy because I beat the dungeon before I found that wall. So I didn't go back to the dungeon and I'd already beaten it and I'd gotten all the items from it. So I was like, I don't need to go back to this dungeon. I never found that NPC. So I never I never even thought to use the whistle there. And I'd used a few items there too, but I was like, it's it just didn't make sense to me. I didn't know what it wanted. I'd, I'd go into that lake many times, but I guess I just never used the whistle there of all the random items I decided to use. I eventually looked it up, but uh, it, was, it was frustrating. How do I get that cage? <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I wasn't in La La Land, I would know how to get the cage. Oh, it looks impossible. Nobody's saying, I kind of wish I could get Zero Mission for the new 3DS. I'd rather beat that than the original Metroid. Yo, oh yeah, Zero Mission is really good. It's a really good game. I love it. And Super Sin Slayer, actually a serious game that's horrible with RNG enemies and how often you fight them is Earthbound Beginnings. Earth, or Earthbound Zero. Now if we're talking platformers, then possibly Zelda 2. Yeah, you're right! 
I didn't even think of that. Zelda 2 does have randomly spawning enemies. But I like Zelda 2. But I guess, like, hmm. I don't know what it is, because, like, Zelda, Zelda 2, Link has is a pretty, pretty small attack range, which is also the same problem I had with Shantae. I don't like how small her attack range is. Um, I guess the enemies don't normally spawn on top of me in Zelda 2. I don't think that happened very frequently. Because that was my main gripe. I didn't like how they spawned on top of me. Oh, I have to retrace my steps? Oh, man. Well, let's go back. Oh, wait, I game over. <laughs> oh, we died a few times there. A few times. That's fine. That's fine. We know where five... No, we know where all six cages are. Six out of six. We just gotta get them without dying an infinite amount of times. Which we're gonna figure out how to do right here. You ever notice a thing if you hadn't stopped talking? Oh, what was it? What was it, Glacken? What did I miss? What did I not see? What escaped me? But yeah, I've, I've heard Earthbound Beginnings is really bad. Really, really bad. Because, like, I know a lot of people would compare Earthbound to Dragon Quest. I was like, why? The games are, like, nothing the like. Then I saw Earthbound Beginnings. I was like, oh. I see. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. It's, uh... Oh, I almost fell into that gap. Yeah, we gotta go down here first. But yeah, nah, man. Those old school RPGs with the like 100 million battles, I'm not a fan. Though Final Fantasy 1 is like one of my favorite games, but I'll always play like the Game Boy Advance version where, you know, one, uh, enemies aren't spawning every two steps, two, a lot of the attacks actually do what they're supposed to do instead of like doing nothing, or making your character actually weaker. Oh, the thing's already spawned. I'm trying to spawn the platform. It's already there. Genius. But can I not die to the platform? We'll find out today. Yep, we waited for it to lower. We're, we're so good. And uh, later Shantae games make combat much uh, better with uh, longer range with Shantae's hair. And... Clap of Inks, you've officially spent more time on this than I did on Hardest Difficulty Super Goals and Guns. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yo, this game's hard, man. Cut me some slack. Oh, hey, I didn't take damage. I already got that one cage, right? Did I? Or did I game up? Nope, there it is. There's, there's the cage. Alright, so that's cage number one. Let's go get cage number two. Got this. Alright, that's uh, not a good start. So I claim I check back an hour and a half later, Vix played the same stage as play an hour and a half ago. Get good. But yo, I'm so much better now than I was before. My power level is much higher. Oh jeez, no 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 no, I'm alive. It's still hard though. It's still hard. Even even with complete focus, man, I'm still just bad. Oh, uh, but I'm I'm really trying here. I'm really, really trying. Yo, he jumps so much higher if I have, like, you know, if I get that really long arm thing going on. I don't really do it on purpose very often. Alright, so we need to get the checkpoint. After the checkpoint, we get the second cage. Life will be good. Alright, so there's the cage. Cage number two. The one we need. Ah uh, no no no! I I jumped. I pressed the jump button. I moved I moved this far, this far, nowhere. What are you doing, Rayman? Let's see. Vink spent the longest on Mr. Stone Peaks, Pencil Pentathon, whatever, and Space Mama's Crater. Space Mama took two and a half hours. Mr. Stone Peaks took two streams. Yo, Mr. Stone Peaks destroyed my soul. <laughs> that place was so hard. Like, when I was at that part, I was like, I'll never beat Rayman. I'll never beat this game. And then we eventually did it. It, it was very liberating. Ah, oh, man. So I, I don't know what it is that causes me to, like, not jump as high as, like, I'm trying to. Like, sometimes I'll jump 
like, you know, as I'm dangling there, and I move nowhere, and I can only go down and die, and it, it makes me quite sad. That wasn't as high as I meant to jump. That one I get, though. I let go of the jump button because I didn't want to bang my head on the spike there. So we didn't. Well, moving on. Yo, how many more levels are there, Blackham? Because we got, we got Crystal Palace, we got Eat at Joe's. How many more levels are there until, uh... What's his face? The dark guy. Mr. Dark. Wait, I've missed a cage somewhere. Because I only got the two, there's three of them. That's right, it's over here. I'll, I'll just game over. You know, so I've already gone through all of my lives and that continue. We'll game over, we'll do it again. It's just that one part, dude, where the checkpoint is. Going between those two spikes without, like, either I'll jump too low and just not even make it through at all, or I'll jump too high and I'll hit my head on the spike and I kill myself. You know, dispatch, and you know what's after this? Eat at Joe's. There's one more level in these caves after Eat at Joe's, and then you have to get all cages to get to the final level. Yeah, I'm far from having all the cages. I've really only been, like, really trying hard to do that once I got to these later stages, because these later stages are so hard, I don't want to have to do them again. <laughs> so I'm trying to get all the cages as I go through. Let's see, this is the last world. Dream Forest and Banland have four levels, the rest have three. Okay. <laughs> you paid for suffering? Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, man. It's just important that I know, like, uh, if I should, like, use a continue or not, because I'm not, I am telling you right now, <laughs> I am not starting this game from scratch again. The first five hours I put into Rayman? Oh, I'm dead already. I forgot I didn't have the HP. I gotta, I gotta take this slower. Well, no, I, I'm not, I'm not taking this. We'll do it again. But, um, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, the first, like, five or six hours of the stream, I used up, like, all of my continues. I was only in Banland. So, like, I restarted, and we kept all of our continues until like we'd finished Banland or the boss there or whatever. And so I only had four continues and I've, I've used my continues here and there. I have three continues. I would like to hold on to like at least two of them. I think I should have like one continue when I've beaten all the stages, right? And then I'm just working on getting all the cages. I think, I think that's a perfect number of continues to have. But uh, I don't know how many stages there are, so. Well, I'll figure it out. Yo, let's see, Dispatch saying I have much more trouble with the last forest level than Banland. Can you believe that? That last forest level is ridiculous to me. I wouldn't know, I've never made it to this forest level. I don't know what it is. The farthest I've ever made is the Ed Jones. I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go down there. Got to get those cages, man. And I didn't grab the health again. 102 divided by 6 plus 1, thanks to do the math. Yeah, alright. I didn't realize there were that many tinks. That's a lot of tinks. So, uh... So 18 levels, plus one. What, Vinks? You did uh, Mosquito's Nest? Did I? I don't know. Is that the last forest level? You wouldn't be swinging everywhere if you didn't? Oh. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying there was a forest level after you had Joe's.
Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. That life is useless anyways. Get that health. No, no, sorry. Oh, it's all, it's all good. I was uh, pretty confused. Not a big deal. Not like the Super Sense Slayer. Rayman's a hard, hard, brutal, unforgiving game. Doesn't care about what I do. Alright, so yeah, the cage carries over, even if I game over at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, it's just not, let's just not miss any of these. Oh man, oh man. Let's not miss any of them! Miss! Oh, this game's too hard. Oh yeah, I didn't spawn the thing. There we go. This game just expects so much from me, man. This game thinks I'm so good at video games. I'm like, I'm alright, man. <laughs> I'm alright at video games. I don't want to do all these jumps over <laughs> pits of death. Could we not? Can we do jumps over fluffy, bouncy clouds? That'd be way better. That'd be so cool. Well, I made it. For the first checkpoint in this level, and I died twice before I got here, man. Times are tough. And I'm dead again. Where was my jump? I'm really trying to jump, man. I, I really am. Yo, Nero with the star bits. Yo, what is that? We got uh, 12,000 star bits. And uh, I'm so bad at the part. Just bad. I. Two cages in, man. I've lost, uh, what? Four lives? Oh, I missed that one. Let's go back. I thought I missed that one. I was already accepting the game over. I'd come to terms. Oh jeez, 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 <laughs> no. That was just bad. Arkham says, I have too many hours in the stream, I should displace them into other gooder streams. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's understandable, man. If you if you came here for the super amazing good, you came to the wrong place. Oh man. You know, if it was Mega Man, that's a different story. I got you on Mega Man. Fighting games? I got you on fighting games. Rayman? Uh, about that. <laughs> about that. Not so much. Yo, I do have determination though. That I do have. Giving up? That's for quitters. Been at Rayman for almost 18 hours now, you know? And uh, that's like nothing. We'll just, we'll just beat Rayman. Any time, any, any moment now. Just, just keep on going, man. All right. Here we go. Put that code down. Grab the thing. Didn't get through without taking damage, but whatever. I'm gonna die very soon anyway. So, five HP, six HP. It all falls down a pit. It's all the same. Doesn't matter. 
got that cage, though. Nurses, oh my god! Twitch Prime gets a golden loot box for Overwatch! Wait, what? Twitch and Overwatch did some sort of... thing? I mean, I've been hearing about the, uh, the golden loot box on the YouTubes for a while. There's been a lot of theorizing ever since, like, you know, the stuff got data mined, but... I didn't realize Twitch was getting involved. And I'm dead again in the same spot! It died there last time, too! So hard. <laughs> Let the man live. Oh wait, what was he saying? I guess after Rayman, I should force you to play that fan game I was playing. I don't want to be anything, too. Man... Why not I want to be the Justice? If it has to be a fan game, why not I want to be the Justice? I think that's what it's called. I don't remember exactly, but... Because there's a, so many, so many fan games. But I think I want to be the Justice was the one that had like a bunch of boss fights. All these like different weapons. You have a slide you can use. And the boss fights are just so epic, dude. It just screams like... Castlevania Symphony of the Night meets I Want to Be the Guy, which is like everything I think I've ever wanted. It looks so good. Because, like, there's this one boss fight, again, if I'm thinking of the right game, but there's this one boss fight where you're fighting, like, this demon chick or whatever, and, like, you have to get, like, all these shots in, you're dodging, like, it's like a bullet hell going on. And while you're doing that, she, like, curses you or something. And so you have this dark curse around you, and uh, you have to mash like a certain key. I think it might change, or it might be a specific key, I don't remember. So like you're dodging all these things, trying to well time your shots, and you have to mash this key, or you just instantly die. And you also have to like kill her, I think, within like a certain period of time, or maybe it's health segments, I don't remember. But it just, it looks, it look, it's so fast paced, the action is insane, it looks really cool. I think it's I want to be the justice, but I'm not a hundred percent. Why don't you play that on your own terms when you talk about how cool it is? I probably will, but I was just saying, you know, why not, why not, uh, why don't you play that, Glockham? Why don't you play I want to be the justice? It looks like a cool ma a game, man. You like, you like hard games. It looks like a hard game. You should play it. I want to play it. Ah, oh, yeah, the, the cage. Keep going right past it. Oh, I'm gonna die, I don't wanna die. die. Cover, got him. See, not dead. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, Rayman. Every time. So that leaves one cage. Where is it at? Oh wait, no, I, I did. I got three cages, actually. That's all the cages in this section. We did it! We finally did it! And we've only died one time so far. If I could just make it to the end here and not and not die right there. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I died. Oh, I was like, that hover's so bad. The position needs garbage. And yo, Dispatch saying I prefer Super Fighting Robot or Mega Man Unlimited. Um, Super Fighting Robot. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, that is a Mega Man fan game, isn't it? Alongside, uh, Mega Man Unlimited. I've actually never played either one of those. I've seen Caleb stream them. I will probably play those games eventually. Because I've played, I've played so many Mega Man games on the stream. I mean, like, obviously, should be able to tell I'm a Mega Man fan. I'm wearing a Mega Man hat. I got a Mega Man X2 armor, like, behind me. Oh, I killed myself. Yeah, Mega Man X2 full upgraded armor. I got the Mega Man X collection right next to me. You can't see it. It's signed by KG Inafune himself. I like Mega Man. <laughs> A little bit. You know, Larry saying, Vinks, I don't know how you returned my Wii U stylus to me while streaming this whole time, but it is appreciated. Uh, I don't remember returning it to you, but I'm glad I did, you know? That seems like the right thing to do. You shouldn't steal people's styluses. I mean, that doesn't seem like something I would do in the first place, but it still isn't something you should do. So if I did it, I'm glad I returned it. I'm glad I came to my senses. 
Is this the first cage here? Or did I miss one? While blabbing on about Mega Man. Yo, Glackham linking me to something. What is this? Is this the is this I wanna be the justice? Yeah, that that looks familiar. That might be it. I need to see the boss fights though. The boss fights are what made the game. I wanna be the justice guy. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I think that's it. Cause it has it has a snapshot of one of the boss fights. It looks pretty epic. And the health bar, yeah, the health bar looks like the health bar I remember for the bosses. Yeah, I need to play that game. It looks pretty good. Ah, jeez, I'm so bad at platforming, man. I just keep landing on spikes. I don't want to land on the spikes. Alright, so we already got the cage that's down there. There's three cages in this section. We got one out of three. We just need two more. Where are those other cages? I'm pretty sure they're all just within eyesight, right? The other two? I don't know how to get the third one, but we got the second one last time. I'm sure we can do it again. That's right, it was in a high section. We just had to jump around a little bit. Yeah, there it is. It's right there. We'll get that. Don't you worry. Yo, and there's a checkpoint. I'll take it. Thank you. See, so yeah, I just need to move a little bit over here to the right. And there should be two guys. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Alright, excuse you, buddy. A little bit in the way. Just a little bit, though. Oh man, that's tricky. Am I supposed to go this way? So it seem right. Well, I gotta go to the left. The running jump from here is that what I did last time? It's probably what I did. Yep. Here's the platforms I'm looking for. Oh, get out of here, dude. Oh come on. There it is. Five cages. Need one more, dude. Got all the cages. I don't feel very good about the amount of lives we've used, but... I might be okay with that. I might learn to be okay. I mean, we're getting better. At the very least, we're getting better at Crystal Palace. That's, that's pretty much undisputed. Like, I'm here and I have a game over already. That's progress. Right now, how do I get to that cage over there? Because, like, there's a section, right? Where, like, there's spikes. So, like, it looks like you could go through if you're, like, crouching. But it's all spikes. I can't, I can't go up there. What do I do? Wait, let me, let me go back. Let me go back, right? There's got to be something, I think, that leads to there. I think that's what it is. So wasn't there a cloud over here? But I don't think I saw the cloud this time. Maybe I didn't spawn it? Yeah, I think there's a cloud that takes me over there. Yeah, there, there it is. This cloud will take me there. I'll, I'll just crouch right. We'll go right over the spikes. The ceiling won't push us to the side. We'll get... Oh, nope. 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 I was hoping. This is... Uh, oh, there's another cloud. This is the cloud. This cloud seems a little too high. Uh... What are we doing, Cloud? Wait, no, is this the right elevation? Oh, it is! It is? We did it! That's it! Easy peasy! <laughs> yes! All six cages! GGWP! Yo, Glack, I'm saying a lot of reviews say the bosses all have one awful part about them that totally kills the awesomeness that would otherwise feel. Oh, they would otherwise feel? And uh, last place later, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the hardest how difficult, you, how difficult would you say this game is? Um, alright. How difficult this game is. If one... Let's see, let me think here. I need, I need a game to put at one. What is the easiest game I've ever played? Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's, it's probably one of the Kirby's. I guess, like... 
not the original Kirby, but like Kirby Adventure, I think it was called. Was that was that the NES one, the regular Nintendo one? Was that Kirby Adventure? Cause that's a uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, right? Like Nightmare in Dreamland and Kirby Adventure are like the same game, I think. I'm going too far left. I don't need to do all that. But uh, but yeah, that's I guess that would be one maybe. I'm trying to think of like the easiest game. That's the easiest one popping into mind at the moment. So if you got like Kirby, Kirby on a one, right? And then for ten, oh jeez, I don't want to be dead. And I'm dead. Uh, so, number 10, what's the hardest game I've ever played? Oh. <laughs> that might be Rayman. <laughs> Let me think. I don't know, Zelda 2 was pretty crazy. Zelda 2 was, oh man, Zelda 2. I mean, Zelda 2, like, it was hard, but Zelda 2 is hard in the way that, like, it doesn't tell you where things are, how things work. Like, I mean, yeah, like, the action's a little hard. Like the Thunderbird boss or whatever, but it's not like, it's not that hard. It's really not. So yeah, nah, Zelda 2 is far from the hardest game I've ever played. It's just frustrating. It uses old game logic. Um, hardest game I've ever played. Mm, probably Ikaruga. I didn't beat that game. I don't know. I don't think Ikaruga is a 10, though. It's not that bad. Super Ghouls and Ghosts also isn't that bad. It, it's pretty hard. What would be a 10? Probably Rayman. <laughs> uh, the more I think about it. I'm trying to think of a game that I've played that has been this hard. I mean, like, I Want to Be a Guy is... It is a hard game. But it's... It's not that hard. Like, I guess I'd put I Want to Be the Guy at maybe like an 8? I'd definitely put Rayman as harder than I Want to Be a Guy. And it's, it's not so much, because, like, I want to be the guy who has, like, a lot of stupid things, right? That kill you in silly ways. But that's the kind of game it is. It's a memorization game. You memorize those things, they don't kill you, you make progress, and you do some difficult platforming. This game also has a bunch of random things. I mean, it's not as bad as, like, say, I want to be the guy, and it's randomness. The platforming, the precision, the amount of death pits. I mean, because, like, again, the precision in I Want to Be a Guy is pretty tight in a lot of areas. But, I don't know. There's a lot of checkpoints in I Want to Be the Guy. You have unlimited lives in I Want to Be the Guy. I guess that's that's probably more the case. I don't know. Even with infinite lives, I think Rayman might be harder than I Want to Be the Guy. There's something else that I played that was really hard not too long ago, but it's not it's not popping into mind. Kirby's Adventure is this NES one, Nightmare in Dreamland is GBA remake. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the two took you 20 hours. Seven hours was spent not cutting the trees. <laughs> Got you. Oh man, I lost all of my lives. Is this really how I want to progress? Because I got all the cages, so I don't have to come back to the stage. But I still have to do Eat at Joe's. Which is apparently, like, the hardest stage in the game. And, like... I don't even know how how much more is left of the game. I don't know, I might... I might have to just game over and try to do that again, losing less lives. Or, or I just need to grind out lives. Because, like, what I could do, I think... I haven't tested this. But I believe... Like, um, there's those mini games you can play, and you can get lives. Oh wait, no, you can only get the one life. Oh, but you can get tings. You can get the tings. You can get an unlimited amount of tings. Cause like, it'll cost like 10, right? It'll cost like 10 tings to play. But you can get like, 13 or 15 or 16 tings. That's like forever though. Like, maybe the fastest way to do it would be able to replay certain stages that give you a lot of tings. That might be like one of the stages in Vanland. I don't know, I'd have to test that out. Oh man. <sighs> Alright, what are we saying? Yo, Disgaea saying long time no see, Vinx. Yo, by long time you mean like a millennia ago. This is a whole new age. I'm a new person. I have like a robot heart now. 
And now, like I'm saying, there's actually only two instances of RNG in the entire game. Three if you include the 50-50 cage and the speedrun. Well, I, I was never really calling it out for RNG. Super Sin Slayer saying, I want to be the guy who's more unfair than difficult. I mean, I'd still say it's difficult. Like, you still have instances that require precision. Like, precision itself is difficulty. The lack of leniency is difficulty. Like, uh, where you have to get shots in very specific places, you have to time jumps, you know, pretty, pretty well. You have to time these jumps exceptionally well. You have to position them extremely well. You have infinite lives to do so. But again, I don't know. I guess you can kind of fluke your way through I want to be the guy in certain sections that are really hard. You just try them enough times. You can fluke your way through, and there are some exploits because the game's not perfectly designed. So, it's not the hardest game in the world. It's the hardest game I can think of at the moment, and comparing I want to be the guy to Rayman, Rayman's so much harder than I want to be the guy. Like, it's so, so much harder. I'm trying to think of something... That's harder than I want to be the guy, besides Raven, and I'm just drawing so many blanks. It's like, I play a lot of Mega Man games. I don't think there's a single Rayman game that's as... Or a single Mega Man game that's as hard as Rayman. I mean, again, I'm biased. I play a lot of Mega Man games, so I might just have a lot of experience with, you know, Mega Man, which might make it easier for me, but... Ah, jeez, I forgot about him. I don't know. I, like, I think the classic Mega Man games are kind of hard. They're not that hard. Like, they are harder games. I think classic Mega Mans are harder than the Mega Man X games, because you don't, you don't have sub-tanks, you don't have, uh... You don't have, like, the body armor to reduce damage by half. A lot of the enemies don't have, like, you know, a Spark Mandrill Syndrome, where they, like, reset their AI that's, like, exploitable and stuff like that. But, again, they're, they're nowhere near as precise or demanding or as mechanic-heavy as Rayman is. Not the classics. Um... Let's see, what are we talking about? Oh man, y'all are starting to say a lot of things. I was not saying that much a second ago. What's the other RNG? Uh, Glaxon's saying, 2 is what Red Platform Scops decides to drop at his first screen. Everything else that might be inconsistent is in regards to the spawning distance. But there's no RNG. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking about RNG. Like, Rayman's a pretty consistent game. Glaxon, what do you think about that spinning spike ball in Mosquito's Nest? Like, when I say randomness in, uh, Rayman, I didn't actually mean RNG. I meant more like just as a casual player playing the game, things that just spawn on top of me or right next to me, or just things that I am suddenly put into a situation to that I feel like I'm not prepared to deal with. That's more what I was talking about. Hello, buddy. Like that, you know? <laughs> like, that's, that's more the randomness I'm talking about. It's just how things are placed in the game. I don't actually mean RNG. I don't know what the right word for that is in this moment. Let's see. Dispatch says you're fruit surfing and have to get around those spike balls. You can either get the good RNG where the spike balls all spin the same way, or you get the bad RNG where the last few spin the other way and cause trouble. No, they're talking about something specific. Even though I want to be the guy creator considers battle toes impossible. Oh, battle toes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I consider battle toads to be pretty pretty ridiculous. It's been a while since I've played Battletoads, though. I, I played it once just because, like, this is, like, the hardest game ever, right? And I think I made it to, like, the stage before the final stage, I think. And I stopped playing. I just wasn't having any fun with the game. <laughs> I don't know how hard it is, though. It's It's been a while since I've played it. Yeah. I have no idea where any of the cages are. I hope there's no cages in the dark section. That would be great. There's no cages. There's no cages in the dark section. Who would put cages in a section that's completely dark where you can't see anything? It would be silly. Battletoad has warps. Yeah, I don't know Battletoads that well. I'm not gonna argue it's difficulty level. I think it's I think it's just very frustrating and not very fun game. And I like uh, Battletoads and Double Dragons. 
the Super Nintendo game? I love that game. That game's much better. That's... <laughs> it's like, there's there's good beat-em-ups and there's bad beat-em-ups. And Battletoads is a badly designed game. And I think there's a huge difference between games that are badly designed that are difficult because of, you know, trash, and then games that are difficult because they're actually designed to be that way. Like, Rayman is a game that I... I assume had to have been meant to be this hard. I hope and I pray. <laughs> like, there's no way they didn't realize how hard Rayman is. Super Meat Boy is pretty hard, but I haven't really played Super Meat Boy that much. I can't really say. And so there's a cage over there. No idea how to get over there. It's beyond me. There's a checkpoint there, too, so I, I need to get over there somehow. Aw, oh, come on! I have so little time! <laughs> oh! Oh! A game I think is probably one of the hardest games in the world? Wizard of Oz, Super Nintendo. But again, that's one of those trash games, like, that's Battletoads level. The game's just garbage. It's just garbage. It's probably the most difficult game I've ever played, though. Wizard of Oz. That game's... oh, it's so bad. Oh, if I just moved a little bit to the right. Let's see. A game that's not designed like trash. That I've played. That's really hard. Um... I don't know. I guess I play too many easy games, I guess. I can't think of anything. <laughs> oh man. Did we save? No, I didn't save. I decided saving wasn't worth it. Battletoads is sort of like I want to be the guy. Except you don't have unlimited lives. Warps can help you skip around certain levels, but still requires a lot of practice, memorization, and precision. Oh, does it? You also can't skip the hardest levels, which happen to be the last couple of levels. Dispatch says Rayman is consistently hard. It routinely throws crazy stuff at you. Rayman is consistent to me. <laughs> yes, Rayman. Rayman is a consistent game. Like when I was when I was call, like saying random stuff, like yeah, just saying uh crazy stuff. If there's crazy stuff at you, is a much better thing. Like when you know you have to do that segment where you have to hover in between those spikes, and then a rock spawns literally right behind you as you know you're getting up off your feet. That's crazy. That's that's obscene. Alright, let's get to that little patch and not get- gosh darn it, I dashed right over the part. I tried to not take damage to the rocks, but... yeah. I mean, part of it's stuff like that right there, like, I didn't realize running I would go over the gap. I am far from in tune with Rayman's abilities. I didn't play this game growing up, but I, I mean, again, to be fair, like, I, I am comparing this to games, like, as I was playing them. Not like, oh, yes, Mega Man X, which I've played many, many times. No, 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 no. Oh, come on! Like, I know it's there. I'm trying to move out of the way. It's just, it's so fast. I just lose all of my lives in the same section, man, I swear. It's like, look at this. It's a section above spikes. I mean, I know, for whatever reason, like, you can hover over spikes, and then you take, like, one damage instead of dying completely. Or maybe there's different types of spikes? Maybe both? I don't know. This game, man, I just, I don't know. I don't know how spikes work, exactly. Let's see, but you only lost three lives? I'm gonna lose all of my lives, Glacken. That's how many lives I'm going to lose. The continue? There's no point, man. How many stages are left? Four, five, six, seven stages? I, I need my continues. Like, it's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. If I have no continues, it's pointless. How do I not die? Well, that, that wasn't it. 
Oh man, I finally got out of the way of that stupid rock. Where is this taking me? Oh, the life. Yes, thank you. Thank you, clouds. That last level wasn't kind to me when it came to lives. Ah, oh, really? Really, that rock's gonna respawn? Oh, the, the double time. I'm out. Forget those rocks, man. Yeah, everything about them. And those rocks, too. Forget you, too. Oh, man. Alright. Let's, let's just get up here, right? Let's just, let's just get up there. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We can do this. Alright, there's the checkpoint. Fantastic! Huh. It looks like one of them is missing. Do I have to, like, go somewhere to... Okay, I, I spawned some stone guys, but where is, where is the thing, you know? Where do I gotta go for that? What do I, what do I gotta do? What do you expect from Mr. Rayman? Yeah, I'll never get over there. There has to be one that's just not there that I have to like toggle by going somewhere. I just I just don't know where it is. And I spawned these rock guys. I I really thought that would be the spot to do it, but maybe it's far to the right? I don't know. This is the cages of despair? Uh-oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. What do I have to do? What is it? What does the game want from me? figure out how to do it. I have no idea. Oh, you haven't actually gotten this far? Wait, wait, Glackum saying, uh, you have to literally be the goodest. Wait, so there's, there's no extra thing. There's no extra thing here. I just gotta somehow make that jump with magic. But I don't know how to magic. I can't, I don't know how to jump that high. Help. That's possible? I can do that? That's a thing? Rackham says, Some people believe it is legitimately impossible to get with slow fists without speed strats, but I can guarantee it's possible. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, Glockham. That doesn't sound good. That is not reassuring. If you think that's reassuring, it's, it's not. Oh, okay. I guess that wasn't that hard. Just had to get the right. Oh no 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 no! Why? Why? I was just saying how easy it is. That's the worst curse. I'll never get that ever again. I'm certain of it. I'll never get it ever again. Ever. It'll never happen. Yeah, Glackham Speed runs this game, so he's super good. Me, I am a Phil Casual before a game that is far too powerful for its own good. No, I really should. I should really play Dark Souls. I should play Dark Souls and see how long it takes me to beat that game, how many times I die, 
and compare that to Rayman and see which one's the harder game, Rayman or Dark Souls. It's probably Rayman. I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm not that good. You <laughs> want too much from me. I am a mere mortal. I am not a Rayman. I am not Rayman himself. I am Banks. I like to play video games. But this is this is too much for me. It's too much. Let's see, Dispatch says, Dark Souls has a lot of ways to cut the difficulty down a lot, unless you play the higher difficulties, of course. Got you. Yeah, nah, like, obviously, if I was gonna play Dark Souls to test out difficulty, I'm not trying to, like, ah, oh, okay, what's the easiest way to play Dark Souls? Oh, if you use these exploits, you don't have to fight any of these bosses. That's, uh, that's redundant. up there ever again. It'll never happen. I'm a million years. Wackham says, Dark Souls is also an RPG. I'm not sure it compares when it has game breakers like every other RPG. Or rather, I think it's just an unfair comparison. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it, it was mostly said for, you know, just silliness. Dark Souls and Rayman really shouldn't be compared. They're completely different genres. Completely different genres. I merely was comparing it to Dark Souls, because I, I know Dark Souls is a series that's considered to be really hard. And I haven't been able to really think of anything that's as hard as this game. I mean, I guess Battletoads, I, I don't know. I haven't played Battletoads in forever, maybe. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is definitely not this hard. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is a very hard game, though. It is a very tough game. Is it as tough as this? Goodness, no. What? It was working for a while, and then not so much. Oh, I got the cage. Only took forever. Well, it took forever to get the cage. How am I supposed to get across? You know, obviously I'm not supposed to jump. I can see the... see the spikes. Oh, like that? Okay. Thanks for the life. I appreciate it, Clouds. You're good people. You're... Uh... Uh, you're good... Hydrogen? I don't know. Whatever, man. Alright, moving on. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do with my Rayman life? Ah, oh, jeez. Spin a little fast there, buddy. You slow down a bit, maybe? sure if I already have a golden glove, but I'll I'll take it. I don't care. It feels nice to get stuff. Did I gonna fall? No? Alright. Treasure chest. Or, uh, a cage, rather. Let's see. So, Vanks, no death run win? Never. And, uh, Dispatch, not really exploits so far as just finding good equipment. I mean, there are exploits, but those are mostly for making the game faster. In Super Sin Slayer, there are indeed 12 levels. If you were to use as uh, many warps as possible, you can get as far as stage 8. 
Beyond that, you have to get through all the remaining stages without orbs. The only ex other exploit that comes into play is killing a rat in stage 10. It's not easy to do. So in short, you'd have to go through five really difficult stages with a limited amount of lives and three continues. And uh, the later Ghosts and Goblins games aren't as hard as the originals. Ghosts and uh, Goblins is completely insane. It really is. And uh, Glack and Gratz took you longer to get this case than it did for me to beat the final section of Ori. <laughs> Yo, Ori in the Blind Forest is a hard game, though. And then Dispatch, uh, people who are good at the other games are terrified of arcade Ghosts and Goblins. Yo, yeah, no, nah, I like I like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I've played I've played the uh, the arcade one. I didn't know it existed for a while. I finally came across one in an arcade. It was cool to see it. And uh, yeah, I I assumed that Super Ghouls and Ghosts and uh, the arcade one were going to be similar games. But they are very very different. Uh, what what do I what do I do here? I think that was a silver glove though. Oh, yep, not quite gold. Do I just leave? I don't need to do anything with the the red and blue wires. I'm I'm good. I'll leave. I don't have to do anything. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. See, it's it's carrying on the theme. I I remember that I was gonna have to do something with that. Pretty sure I saw Black and doing some some crazy stuff. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. We all just all hit me, man. That's fine. Oh hello, buddy. How are you doing? Yeah, just spawn there. That's great. Just spawn right there. Just right, right there. Don't spawn anywhere else. Right where I am. That's where you should spawn. It's a great place. Fantastic place. Amazing place. Ah, great. Now we shoot needles. Did you not do that? Can I defeat him, or is that not possible? Oh, jeesh. Ah, oh, jeesh. <laughs> really, guys? Really? Let's see, Glack, I'm saying the final Ori escape uh, sequence only took me like five minutes. It was easy compared to the awful nonsense escape sequence in Forlorn Runes. That was a poorly designed section. Uh, I don't really remember Forlorn Runes. I remember the entire game being easy. The entire game. But then again, you played it on hard, so you might have had some more frustrating experiences than the normal player would have. But yeah, I, I enjoyed all of Ori and the Blind Forest. For me, the game was just all about the movement, you know? Ori has some very interesting movement. Can I hit him? Yeah. Do you like? Yeah, thanks. Oh man. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We gotta be like this. Doesn't have to be like this. What killed me? Did I jump and it moving up kill me or was there a, was there a spike I didn't see? I gotta I gotta see this. How did I? I have no idea how I died. No idea how I died. What killed me? The blue platform? The blue platform killed me? It looked like the blue platform killed me. I don't I don't know. Super Ghouls and Ghosts was easy, except for the second to last second round. How uh, how long did it take you to beat Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Clackham? How long did it take to beat the game? I'd like a reminder of that while you say how easy it is. Not shoot spikes at me. I don't. I don't know how to get past that. All right, could you not kill me this time, dude? It'd be great. Uh, that's that's covered in spikes. I'll never survive this. Oh boy. Interesting. Oh hello. How do you do? 
Can we go? What do you, what do you want from me? What do you want? What do I gotta do? Punch this? Is that it? Are we good now? We're good now. Is it, uh, okay, so the brakes and the wires don't do anything. Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Just avoid spikes. I can do that. And spawn in balls. Yep. That's fine. They're all spawning too far forward for me to bump into them. That's cool. I like that. That's, that's chill. I'm chill. What spawned? Something spawned. Is that... What, is, what does that do? What are we doing? No, this is this is just the start of level. I don't know what spawns. I'm out. <laughs> Let's see, Galactum says 17 hours did exactly four playthroughs, two of which were part of defeating said boss in the second round. So it took you 17 hours to beat it? Yeah, I'd, I'd consider that a hard game. It takes 17 hours. It's not like that game's composed of, like, this huge amount of content. I only had one health. I didn't realize. Alright, what are we doing? Ducking, punching, ducking, and jumping. Ah, oh, jeez. I thought I had that jump. I mean, 17 hours is because the gameplay is eternally slow? I mean... Alright, let's let's see. What's, what's world record for uh, ghouls and ghosts? Super ghouls and ghosts. I'm curious. Because, like... It's really not that much content. If I remember right. It's just a few levels. You have to do them twice, though. I mean, yeah, you're a slow guy, but it's a long game because of how difficult it is. Yeah, any percent is 32 minutes. It took you 17 hours. You know why that is? It's because the game's hard. There's not, there's not a lot of tricks in the, in that speed run. <laughs> the real trick is beating the game. I mean, I'm exaggerating a bit, but honestly. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, this uh, looping with the steady amount of life gaining? Well, when one death takes nearly half a minute, exactly! It took 17 hours because you kept dying over and over again. It's a tough game. Ah, oh, jeez. You know what's also a tough game? Ray, man. I'm trying to think of something else besides Ghouls and Ghosts. Besides Battletoad. It's not just a badly designed game. Like, not... Not, a uh, Wizard of Oz. That game's just garbage. It has to be like a hard platformer, right? Hard platformers. I should really play all the Super Meat Boy. I'm told it's hard. I know you have like infinite lives though, so is it like I want to be the guy hard? I mean, I know it's not hard in the in that way that it has uh, just tricks and shenanigans, but like I mean more like is it, it's because it's the levels are a lot of small sequences, right? I mean, I know small sequences can become hard. Seven of those hours were also spent fighting to the second to last boss. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. Oh man, this game's too hard, man. This game's way too hard. More than half the playthrough of the winning playthrough? Yeah, no, nah, I, I get you, man. It's a hard game. But, uh, oh man, what else? What else is hard? That's a platformer. No, I think I think Rayman's probably the hardest platformer ever. <laughs> it's the it's the only one I can think of, man. 
what is what is harder than Rayman? That's a platformer. That's not just garbage design like Wizard of Oz or Battletoads. I mean, it can have some flaws to its design. It doesn't have to be perfect. Rayman's far from perfect, but like, just you know, not a garbage game. There has to be a hard platformer out there. Is Super Ghouls and Ghosts the only one? Let's see, Sonic and Leech can be considered one of the harder games. The game itself isn't that bad, but the hard mode DLC in Eggman Land, especially show the game, can be brutal. That game had DLC? I didn't know it had DLC, but I guess I'm not really trying to count hard modes either. I mean the game's default difficulty. Cause like this is this is default difficulty for Rayman. This this isn't hard. This is just normal Rayman. This is how the game is by default. Same thing with Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Ah, oh, gee, I'm bad. Asted Astianax? Is that a thing? I'm gonna search Google. Oh, yeah, that looks like a thing. That's a game, right? I'm seeing a game. Developed in Japan. Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, okay, tell me more. Known in Japan as the Lord of King. And this is a platformer? It's a side-scrolling action game. Action, a side-scrolling action game can be a platformer. I, I assume there's death pits. Oh, dude, Act Razor 2? I haven't played Accuraser 2 in a while. That's that's an action platformer. Oh man. That game has some stupid stuff. You never made a dent in it. There's an arcade version, but it's completely different. Still pretty hard though. And yeah, Glackman was saying, like, I went from three continues to eight continues on my last playthrough. Until I got to that point. And then I fought the boss, and you don't 100% get enough money to counter your death count, but I still only got out of there with one continue. Yeah, man. That stuff's crazy. <laughs> that game's really crazy, dude. Like, oh my goodness. The fact that you have to, like, beat the game twice to beat it once is so stupid. Like, I haven't beaten Super Ghouls and Ghosts exactly for that reason. I, I made it. I made it to the end. And they're like, do it again. I was like, nope. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, you did it, man. You had the patience. I didn't have the patience. Oh, oops, I completely left the cage behind. This is a good thing I fell down. At least it wasn't into a pit this time. We'll see how that goes. Thanks, how about Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, the Famicom version? I actually have not put much time into that game. I wonder. I don't know. I. I bet I could beat, I bet I could beat Lost Levels, probably, probably within, probably within five hours, I think. I bet. I bet I could beat it within five hours. Maybe. I don't know, I'm told it's pretty hard. I've, I've played like the first few levels, I was never really that interested in it as a kid. I was like, this is Super Mario Brothers, just with the poison mushroom. Wasn't that interesting to me compared to Super Mario Bros. 2 where, you know, you can play as Peach and Luigi and Toad and you have all these new enemies and you have Super Mario Bros. 3 where you have all the suits. It wasn't that interesting to me, so I, I didn't want to play it. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested now. Oh man, please no! I don't want to die! I die there every time. And you'll go back and say, no, it's not crazy. It's just the second to last boss. Fighting the second to last boss on the first round just has you sit in a corner and shoot arrows and you win. Mm. <laughs> Fair enough. But only with that ring thing. You notice we spent three hours, haven't gotten anywhere? Yeah, man. Raymond's too hard. Game of the year. Everyone should watch Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan speedruns. Yeah, is it really good? But 
yeah, again, this is uh, like the difference, right? The difference between like what I'm going through right now and like what you were doing in, uh, say, Ghouls and Ghosts. You were getting your continues, right? I'm not getting additional continues. <laughs> if I if I was like grinding lives, maybe I would be finding this a lot easier. Cause like I've beaten this section with all six cages before, but the problem is that. I keep dying in really stupid places and using up all of my lives and I have a limited amount of lives so I'm like okay you know let me uh gosh darn it so I'm like I gotta I gotta perfect this I gotta get good at this and then once I do that you know it's all it's all good and then and then I can go through so it's not that I just have to beat something I have to like perfect it that's what makes it so difficult I can't I can't just beat it. Just beating it's not good enough. But yeah, no, I'm I'm at zero lives, I'm gonna game over here. As you know, again, talking about how the lives is a huge problem for me. Glackham says I wasn't even grinding though, the game just gives you lots of money bags and you're limited on time anyways. The game is naturally generous. Yeah, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But that's again just what I'm saying, like, is just I'm talking about how Rayman's so hard. I'm not talking about how Ghouls and Ghosts so it, it is a hard game, but Rayman, please, give me more continues. <laughs> give me more lives. Like, it was so nice back in Banlane, right? In Banlane, it was like life after life after life. I had all these tings just come out the wazoo. It was crazy. And now, uh, not so much. You know, there's not really that many lives, or at least not any that I can see with my eyes. What about Kid Icarus or Ninja Gaiden? I have not played those. Kid Icarus has never interested me. People are like, it's kind of like uh, Metroid, I guess. And I was like, but uh, but it's just like slower or something. I'm like, well, that, that sounds really boring. So I don't want to play that. And uh, Ninja Gaiden, I actually do want to play. I've just never gotten around to it. Actually, no, I did play Ninja Gaiden as a kid. I think I had like a collection or something. I think for Super Nintendo or something, maybe? Or maybe it was just one of my uncles had all three of the games. I don't remember the details. I did play one through three though. I think there was a collection. Not sure. I didn't beat any of those games though. But again, I was a little kid. My interest wasn't very strong. There's so many games to choose from. I spent most of the time when I was playing Ninja Gaiden, I was also playing Mega Man 1 through 6, because my uncle had all the Mega Man games, so I played those. <laughs> I mean, I like Ninja Gaiden because you got to be a ninja, and I liked ninjas as a kid. I still like ninjas. But I've always liked robots just a little bit more. Why? Why did I not do that, man? Why did I mess up so bad? It's not a hard jump. Alright, let's see. The first Ninja Gaiden is actually pretty easy. The sequels are pretty hard, though. Oh, yeah? Is that how it works? And, uh, like I'm saying, another thing about Super Ghouls and Ghosts was that I was playing on professional mode and with only three continues. And when the game settings... When the game settings let you have up to ten... Got you. Yeah, Rayman doesn't have any of that. Like, first off, this is the normal difficulty. There, There isn't a hard difficulty that I know of. <laughs> Unless there's a secret difficulty that you can unlock. I don't, I don't know. As far as I know... Wait, what am I doing? Copy? I don't, I don't want to copy. It's not what I'm meant to do. Let me just... Let me just play. I don't want to change my name. What are we doing? Come on, let me let me just play. It was way faster than the Metroid one. It's Metroid, but it is more of a linear platformer. There's a SNES Ninja Gaiden trilogy. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, that's probably what I played then. <laughs> what about Ninja Robots? Yo, Ninja Robots sounds pretty cool. I mean, we got uh, we got Shadow Man, Shadow Man, and what is that? Mega Man Three, I think. I think Shadow Man's from Mega Man 3, so he's obviously really cool, because he's a ninja and a robot. Aw, oh, oops. Why not get the health first, Vinx? 
Why not get the health first? Oh, Rayman. You're such a hard game. So hard. Your limited lives, your limited continues. But yeah, nah, I think, I think what I'll do, right? I think what I'll do before we do the next stream of Rayman tomorrow, I will try to grind lives. I'm gonna try a couple of different ways. I'm gonna do this off stream because I know like nobody's gonna care about watching me grind. But um, yeah, I'll try to do that and see if I can get some lives. Cause like I have, I have my two theories. I figure I could one, I can go and do the mini game, right? I can go do the mini game over and over again and get teams to do that. Or I can try to find a stage that I can do well without ever dying on. And that also has a lot of tings. If I can do that, maybe I can make progress. Cause like, if I had more lives, if I had more leniency, I already spawned the thing. Then yeah, I'd be able to progress so much faster. Continue the time? Yeah, I'll, I'll continue the timer though, just so like, I have that knowledge. I want to know how long it takes me to beat Rayman. This game is so hard. So hard! I swear to you. Yeah, people that grew up playing Rayman, oh. They got so good at video games, I'm telling you. I mean, Glackham's obviously a good example. So good at, like, just so many games. It's because he played Rayman growing up. This game's ridiculous. How could you not get super good? You have to. It's the only way to beat the game. Ah, oh, that was- that was just such poorly timed! Such a poorly timed punch, man. Whatever, I'll use my continue, I don't care. I don't care, I have one life on that continue. That continue's useless. Gotta get that cage, though. Gotta get that cage. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm right next to the thing. Can't even hit it. There we go. Easy peasy. One more cage coming up right ahead. I normally die going for that cage. Let's see if I can not do that. I didn't die there. I normally always die there. This is progress. I normally die right here. Not dead. Looking good. Looking real good, guys. I mean, yeah, I've lost two lives already, but, you know, it is what it is. Tough jump right there. Ah, oh, nice. Ooh, and Larry's saying it's a real tragedy that there is no death counter. Yeah, I didn't think about making a death counter. I would really like to have that information to know how many times I've died playing this. But, um... I didn't do that at the start, and I've died so many times now that, like... And there's, there's, like, almost 19 hours of footage to go through if I wanted to, like, count how many times I've died. Like, I'm interested to know that, I'm not that interested. <laughs> not to sit there for 19 hours and count my deaths. That's number four. We need two more cages. I know where they both are. I'm so dead. Like, there's lightning bolts. There's the balls right there. I was never getting out of there. Too many for Vinks to keep track of. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I've died so many times, man. I'm sure 
I'm very sure I've died more times playing Rayman than I have in I Want to Be the Guy. Which is funny, because you know, deaths come a lot faster in I Want to Be the Guy. You die very quickly in that game. I don't remember the number. I want to say it was like around 300, I think. I think I died like 300 times. It was somewhere between like 200 300 times to beat I Want to Be the Guy. Maybe it was more. I, I honestly don't remember. I have the footage. I can look it up. So I actually had a death counter on that one. But yeah, I just really didn't think we were going to need a death counter. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll die sometimes, but you know, I'll... I'll beat Rayman in like one or two streams. It won't be that big a deal, you know? <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I first first decided to start playing Rayman. I was like, yeah, it won't, it won't take that long. Like, it, it's a tough game, but I, I can do this. Oh man, how naive we were. So naive. So exceptionally naive. Oh wait, I gotta go this way. Oh, come on, dude. I'm just trying to get over to the left, if you don't mind. Trying in the way, thank you. Not really. Alright. That's, uh, that's five lives. That's a good number. Oh wait, oops, 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 oops. Oopsie doops. I have to go up to where the cage is. That's where the cloud is. That's how I make progress. And let's see, Dispatch. I don't know about Exceptional. Everyone thinks they can take on Rayman for free, and then they play it. Yeah, no, nah, like, I, I knew the game was hard. I've always known Rayman is hard, but, like, I've played some hard games. So, like, you know, I can, I can do this. I could beat this game. I, I figured it would take me around 10 hours. I was like, yeah, 10 hours. You know, I beat a lot of games, like, between, like, anywhere between, like, 1 to 5 hours, depending on, like, the genre. But, like, the genre and, you know, how content-heavy the game is. But, uh, but Rayman. Oh, Rayman's crazy. <laughs> We're at, uh, we'll easily hit 20 hours. Not gonna, not gonna be in the game. Oh man. Larry says, I do gotta say that watching you play this does not make me want to try it. I don't hate myself that much. Yeah, no, that's fine, man. That's fine. I, I get it. This game's really hard. <laughs> this is a very, very hard game. Alright, we got all the cages. I've used... The first continue I've used all of my lives, but I don't even care at this point. If I can beat the stage from here without dying, I will save. If not, then GG. We'll call the night either way. It's midnight. I'm gonna try, gosh darn it. Try to beat the stage. I might die right here. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh man. I was trying to, I was trying to like find the positioning, but yeah, nah, I'll, I'll go ahead and I will, I will stop here for tonight. So we added like, what, an extra three hours? And we made zero progress. Literally zero. To be fair, I have learned the stages better. I know where all the cages are in Crystal Palace. I also didn't, like, you know, beat it and then save because we would have lost stuff or whatever but yeah I've decided what I'm gonna do is off stream you know because it, it's not gonna be very interesting but uh, I'm gonna try to grind lives and hopefully that'll help out you know if because like I can beat that stage and have all six cages I just can't do it and you know like live <laughs> I damage boost in a lot of places I get hit a lot the game's so strict the game's so punishing if grinding can add some leniency 
that'll help me be able to beat this game this year, I'm going to go for it. So that'll be the plan. But either way, that's going to be me.